Don't see All right, so this is Cloud9 versus Dignitas, and I'm loving the Scorner ban. Looks so good when Kuko played them uh, with FlyQuest versus TL. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. I think that not only comes from the roster itself, but also Reaper. That was, that was actually that such a good drawing. Change will instill a, yeah. I, okay. No Nautilus picks Vi is so strong. It was banned like almost all of MSI. I was a little curious about I'm really excited to see how Vi looks in a game. That same choice instead. <laughs> Nautilus is still available on the table. If yeah, I think Vi is really, really strong route. in general as well. They did lock in the Vi but I haven't seen a lot of her lately, I mean, it feels it's like. Spring split all over again. Be happy ah, with the put respect on Ezreal. Matchup. We love that. I look Actually, I would love to see an Ezreal game, regions, though. So I'm also a little sad. No Cassante ban, though. So I'm assuming we're going to see Cassante, right? Toss ends up locking support here. They're going to be saving counter pick for Licorice, which I think is pretty important when you have a welcome to the LCS game for Thanatos. Wouldn't be shocked if the Cassante gets locked mm. in because it's a little bit of a safe pick. The Kaisa, though, is a little bit more surprising. It's I love to see the Kaisa. Ten percent presence globally. In terms they still of pick the Cassante, but, but they switch it over to Kaisa. Kaisa. Love that. Caitlyn, yeah. Them, but the and then they grab Poppy against the top. Is looking to go in. Yeah. You would have thought that with Nidalee, you want something that guarantees lane dominance, but with Kaisa being locked in, you know, every Poppy one of stops the ult from, from uh, has the ability to move Kaisa, forward. right? And, that's and then the, the Valkyrie from they really want to play Corky, and establish in this first Dashes game from Cassante, the Pounce from Nidalee. Does it stop the E really from no matter what happens in this Leona? game, we'll be playing at least one more. Because if so, LCS, Bobby actually seems like such a huge, you know, grab here. The summer split, and it just it puts so much stake on this. I'm so excited for this game, actually. This is the only time decade of winning. He started his career in Origin, made it all the way to the World Semifinal, won many titles in North America, won titles in Europe with Luigi Great too. Poke so by he's Jojo. Just someone who really understands how to win. And it's in terms of coming back to AD Carry, like, yes, it is hard to hit the ground running on AD Carry, but he boot camped in Korea throughout the spring split and hit over 1,000 LP in Challenger. So if there is a guy who'd be able to come in and just quote, like, look fine and as the ad carry it would actually be zven because he's basically put in the hours and he has so much experience i'm excited so I'm uh, just, to see I'm zven really bot lane interested to see how this plays out he was playing zven. support last time sure. and he's been putting in the hours during this split where he was not playing professionally i was always LCS. curious about how i know that He's been playing a lot flexible of role assignments were for pro players. Like, if you're a pro level top lane, could you also be like a pro level mid laner or something like that? Either rank nine or rank seven on the end. I mean, for, for some people, right like, now. the answer is like, oh, yeah, of course. But for some people, it's like, no. But, like, generally, I've always been curious about that. Especially, like, if you're at a high level. So, like, uh, you know, like Jensen, for example. Like, would Jensen be able to, Jensen or Jojo, would they be able to go, like, play top? at all like would they be able to even compete at a pro level uh, you know what i mean and how difference would it be in our first series but i'm more wondering uh, how they're going to overall impact the map as we see in the Smolkin just getting feisty with Lyles, just establishing lane dominance as they're crashing a big wave you already see blabber has cleared towards the bottom side of the map almost done with the pull clear we'll be making towards it's such an interesting bot lane to watch we'll looking for that bot crap where Spica Cross map on the opposite side, playing. And Midland has been super aggressive. Yeah. So Jojo has Blabber, been, uh, I mean, putting out some put damage on Jensen. On him for Nidalee because that's generally what's going to happen <laughs> now that it's going to be slightly more efficient with the experience changes that have happened. And to go into a little bit of detail about why you might be seeing more farming junglers is, Ooh. especially as you hit like the, you know, 10 to 15 minute mark. Yep. The jungle camps then will be giving you more experience. So it's Interesting like that the backing here. Is like, wow, you're suddenly and they get something? Or are they going to grab like a coal? It's more about nope, just, just got longsword. The well. They're like high in health, high in mana. Same thing with bot I'm curious about that back. Is it just like a timing back maybe? Increase. So the supports themselves and the 80 carries will not be falling as far behind in levels from the rest of the map. Yeah, it gives a lot more value to picks like the Karthus or even it's the a double Lilia tank top lane, so it'll just be a little slow. Are able to trading grass <laughs> so fast that i think around Ooh, that nine mark nice q3 by Cassante. as long as the game hasn't completely exploded around them which i feel like that is going to be speaker's job this game it's not like vi cannot necessarily keep up but definitely have a has a slower clear speed 
And for Vi, that power comes from level six once you unlock the cease and desist. You want to be coming mid lane. You want to be linking up with Isles. So interesting to watch pros. Uh, wow, another great uh, Q3 by Kante. Like so it's so far, cool to watch pros uh, farm. Quite yet. Still like, I really struggle with uh, uh, wave management. So it's cool to watch people who are really good at it. Conservative start to this game. But Jensen won uh, at least one trade there. A little bit of training, but it's basically likely just that looked really painful. Contesting it really aggressively when there's no way they're actually going to fight in that way. So it looks like uh, the dig bot lane um, definitely reminder, seems to be winning. You know, the last time Zven was playing AD carry, but what was happening? Yeah, Berserk is going to be up in farm. 2021. Yeah, there was there was a few things. So Perks was on C9. That's how long ago this was. Damn. <laughs> wow. But at least Sven's more. played ADC before. Well, well, that was happening in 2021. But it, so Sven well, being able to play I support and ADC out. at a pro level so is like really, really impressive. But I'm curious how many C other... Like, like when you watch Karia, just because that later. seems like a good We're example. This, though, it seems like <laughs> Karia could probably play ADC at a pretty high level. He plays a lot of ADC champions anyway with his Kalistas and Ash and whatnot. Oh, wow. Both of the top laners are really low, but it looks like... Asante is like pretty much out of mana. As well. Spica, so they couldn't even like ult if they did reach six first or something. So it looks like Liquorice ended up running that uh but not in range that late that really early landing phase. Blabber. Up in farm and everything. Up dominance over the bottom side of the map so far, but neither the junglers have really committed to either the neutral junglers yet. No, I mean I think from Spika's side, as long as he doesn't get invaded or out pressure by the newly early, he's gonna be okay. He wants to level six and then probably pull a gank off and whatever that creeps would be would be when Dignitas wants to go for their first objective. Very controlled early game for both teams. Um one thing that I'm interested with Dignitas is there was this video put out by Trap Scafford where he had oh, Jensen? Oh Jojo Pion with Jojo with first blood, blood. solo That's how kill you gotta start off a series Okay, Jensen. well played. I mean, really, okay, Jojo. That's the second quirky mid lane solo kill we've seen today. Jojo definitely coming to play. And that was well played. To, to go to the earlier point, so many of the coaches and players that Travis talked to when he was having them power rank the entire LCS put Dick and Toss like towards the bottom half, which when you look at the names, you wouldn't think that's possible, but then you do wonder if there's going to be a little bit of rust. Dick and Toss and Jensen wouldn't be one of those rusty players. This guy was second place in the LCS, went all the way to MSI, but he just steps up. Oh, great flash by Jojo. Far. Jojo doesn't do anything fancy other yeah. than landing a Q, pressing E, and auto-attacking, <laughs> and then flashing over the Jensen seismic Didn't do anything so fancy, then a, aimed everything that they did. <laughs> while trying to push the wave in, trying yeah. to create some minions. Yeah. Jojo, no, that was pretty, able to spot that was pretty well played. Making the punish, and that's flash for flash. That does open huh. up Jojo to getting punished by Spika if he wants to roam towards mid with the Oh, Isles is a little caught out. As I guess it's all right, though. Vulcan missed the uh, engage. Here. He's got the dredge line, and he's making his way towards the safety of Sven. So no need to burn any summer spells. Yeah, I think if that first E landed by Vulcan, So many good Q threes. Thanatos is killing it on this Cassante. <laughs> I'm still a little bit behind from the Poppy, but... During the commotion, Great, engaged by Jojo. The first round of grubs away. Meanwhile, there has been no answer. Oh, or it looks like Jojo might just be pit yet. It's been a dominating this mid lane. A battle of both of the bot lanes trying to gain. And I wonder how much the champions have to do with it. Enough to commit to the dragon, but neither team has. You know, is Corgi just better yeah, than uh? Berserker hits level six, his what you call Italia right now? A lot more potent because then. I'd say C9 would also have a little bit more one shot potential with Kaisa being Berserker able to find six, in there. Berserker's uh, six, So far, even though C9 is looking actually pretty the support's good, getting six C more important. That much you know what I mean? When Nautilus uh, and a lot of the uh, criticism from C9 my, Leona gets six, that that's way more important. Take a bunch of winning lanes. You have to respect Sven's uh, like ult though. Get a and hit by that root and then like an empowered Q. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that hurts really bad. I'm blanking. Yeah. Rift scuttlers. What are those called? Yeah, the grubs, the little grubbies, right? And then they wouldn't really know how to convert that lead. But right now, 700 gold lead. Blabber getting stronger and stronger. He will be a stronger force throughout the game. Just that was really cool to watch for Blabber. The experience changes. And they haven't given kinda, up any tricks. Kind of kind of the, uh, no the Raptors to onto red buff, immediately being able to do the red buff. Yeah, it's not like Cloud9 have to completely bank on early game or bust with and this composition. Able to One do of the that. things that changed about... <laughs> Probably helps that Leona was there, but I don't, you know, even that, I don't know if I would have been able to do that. a lot of utility packed into her E. Thank you, Freak. I'm an Italy main. I've been abusing the solo queue so far. Blabber now does not have to rely on completely steamrolling the early game. If all goes well, it was, it's a really close game. Like C9's up still almost a thousand, but in general, it's really close. To either of your two marksmen, 
yeah. for JoJo and Berserker, and you get insane healing as the game goes on. So you grab the grubs. You not grab the grubs. At the moment, but you if they're able to grab the Drake, they'll be pretty far ahead objective-wise. It looks like yeah, the they're going to be able to. Coverage that they have here makes them very confident that no yeah. one's going to be approaching. Really good vision. Hold on, I have to, I have to remember this. This is beautiful vision. Simple dragon for them to take at the moment. Like obviously no one person alone couldn't do that, but that is beautiful. Oh wait, Jesse got grabbed. Gives him a little bit of distance, but Vulcan doesn't have flash anymore, and they cannot close the gap. To wow. On top of Jensen, that was almost really dangerous Speaker for Vulcan. Was thinking about trying to look for a wow. Engage, but he doesn't that was also a super crazy I mean, uh, there, proc of the Demolish from Poppy. Just taken Drake, and normally there'd be a counterplay on the top side of the map, which is what Spika was in theory moving up towards anyway. But Can they even kill Cassante here? Position, like Cassante just seems so so strong. broken. He is down. Doesn't see us in the licorice. That doesn't necessarily matter oh. since C9 was making a play elsewhere. But here comes Spika. Okay, Thanatos with a path maker. Dodges a little bit yeah. of damage. Yeah. The season desists and even the all out is they not can, enough. I guess they can. Thanatos alive. Spika equalizes. I think a lot of that helps from the, uh, the, the licorice LCS. W. He did have his jungler on the way, but that big wave was going to push in towards him. So he didn't necessarily need to be up that hmm. far. But he definitely wanted to be up that far because you don't want to just concede the I, I'm, I'm really surprised. Good gank. By speaker, but you know, probably being able to did. stop dashes. No, he was up there, and that is one that Thanos strong. is gonna want back. It was really good ult and everything from uh, speaker as well, like bounce uh, the spells up, and everything. You are getting that was beautiful off the map, whether it's a summoner spell burned or you are getting a kill. Because it seems kind of heartbreaking that speaker is the one that got it, but <laughs> fear of Nidalee starting to outpace you as the game continues to scale up. I guess it doesn't matter which one of them on. did, none of them are like super carriers or anything like that. All the turf plates fall up. The second rotation of but despite that, you know, I'm just going to grab all six grubs. So I think they're going to get a lot of these grubs. Jensen is yeah. For plates on wow, Jojo just deals so much damage Jensen with Corky. Gold on right this this, this champion is just looking disgusting. Lane. No matter who plays him. So six grubs, which are good. And the Jensen gets some plates in a position bought? towers, which yep. they have not yet. They've actually taken zero Ooh, plates. Ooh, licorice. But now they're going for licorice. Four members you think Poppy's going to be able to survive four-man gank? Oh, actually, with break. Nautilus there, maybe. We'll well he can use it to punt away members, but Thanatos oh, with nice the block. Pathmaker will be unstoppable, and Isles is forced to flash away from the pound. Oh, the wait. Might get yeah. So beautifully played. So beautifully played by Licorice. Away. The Ignite ticking down. Licorice wants the kill, Ooh. but he cannot close. Wave is Sven. Okay. But Sven is there. Says, Hello, buddy. Did you miss me? What a follow-up. takes him out with the arrow. Nice roam up at the end by Zven, but I'd say mainly it's a really a good roam. Play by Licorice finding the initial slam on the blabber, chunking him out. And I can't believe Licorice turned a four-man so dive into uh, killing the enemy jungler. The Nidalee of all people too. That I mean, being able to grab a Nidalee there, one plate and lose their jungler, stop them from getting too far ahead. That's great. Gold lead, not massively ahead for Dignitas, but. If we bring up spring split games where Cloud9 were behind gold at 15 minutes, chat, remind me, how many games did Cloud9 win? Not a lot. So I, at a lot. certain point, it was zero. Uh, I think they might have won one in the playoffs at some point. Maybe. But yeah, we're, we're ticking towards that 50 minute mark, and they are. Interesting. They didn't win a single gold. game when they were down at 15 minutes. In, in Seems kind of. A consequence of all the lane swapping as That's well. That's really surprising. Also, yeah, it was zero. Uh, it, it was it zero. Also, wow. See, not such a good team. Bonus gold is increased to 300. It looks like Dignitas is going to be able to get that. It was 150 previously. Yeah. So they might be even further ahead by 50 minutes. The only person ahead right now is JoJo. Right, and that's so from the uh, the solo the kill on Benson. For Cloud9 throughout the solo but, I mean, C9's definitely not out of this How game well or anything. I mean, Cloud9 play their game even they're when only they're down like 0.3 thousand. Yeah, 300 gold, 200 gold. That was a big pain point that it's it's super, super close. Season. Not just regular They're season, also up also in, in the playoffs all of the well. objectives. And I know that Thanatos coming in over Fudge is not necessarily going to solve that right away, but yeah. maybe with Reaper on board. You know, I was really surprised about that. that. I thought Fudge played fine last year. That would be the hope. But so I didn't watch enough games, goes, and uh, you know what I mean? I, I don't feel like I can confidently say that. Problem. I right. think he's supposed to be a, just a, an amazing laning prodigy that you want to be able to get on your team and have him grow over time. Uh, but, but so far, it does seem like a pretty slow start for Cloud9. A lot of the same strength we've seen from them in spring split and some of the same weaknesses but that's based off of you know only 14 minutes of play so it's mm. too hard to make a definitive move yet as i think the rift is the up rift and dag's gonna be up in 30 seconds will be the next points of conflict 
30 seconds on that second dragon. You've called out Rift Herald already alive. Yeah, it's it super seem close. Like either team is set up quite yet, but Cloud9 having the first. They got so many more turret plates. I didn't notice that. If they can fade 62. Into the That's why it's such a close game, despite us, you know, having all the uh, objectives. Jungle, but I was able to contest it with Spica. He's going to be hovering in the mid lane. You know. Yeah. With and how many points they've got, if Dick can get this, they might be able to can they just wipe out bot turret. Also doesn't have a flash, so it's kind of hard. Wow, they got it anyway. Never mind. Want to get involved right now? They got first turret. The weaker of the two jungles, if he does show his face somewhere, they get the first turret. Increasing. Oh, Blabber's making his way down. If Liquor stays, then I think uh, they're gonna get him. Oh, with the TP. This is Cloud Nine committing towards the bottom side of the map. Wait, Liquor just walks out. Going for the Rift Herald, they want to fade on Yeah, Liquor just walks it out. Even think Liquor needs the rest of Dignitas. They're gonna have priority on the first. First, they have an opportunity. How much are they gonna get? this mid down from that that was almost an overextension wow, it looks like by jojo and their bottom lane started roaming down licorice that's too bad has to walk i honestly thought that they'd be so able to punish licorice a lot more there the licorice really does just I walk away it does give c9 drake number two which is definitely a win condition but it's going to set them further behind in gold so definitely a trade rather than a win so C9 gets the uh, drag, yeah. I mean, but I think Dignitas wins big on this. They're gaining way more Jensen gold. gets top turret. Being fell by them, this puts they didn't grab solid two Rift though. Of gold. The Rift Herald will surely, if they set it up correctly, will get another tier, uh, tier two turret in the meantime on huh. the next siege play. I have to ask. Obviously, Dignitas has a roster with many players mm -hmm. that have built up accolades over the course of their career. That's really interesting that they didn't grab Rift. They're two tanks. Yeah. Sundered Sky Poppy, though, so he is going to have a lot of damage over time, and it's definitely a dueling item rather than a team fighting item. But, you know, now that laning phase is over, mm. uh, looking at the, the bot laners... It's really, yeah, like, it didn't look like either of them would be able to kill the other, but it was just kind of interesting and to watch. Just remember, like, the last time Sven was playing AD carry... <laughs> <laughs> what did the world look like? This is the second of three. You're a coach. Apparently, I was coaching Team Liquid. This is how wow. I remember so well that he won 2021 Spring because I very much remember that I lost 2021 Spring. <laughs> yeah, he, he kind of beat your booty a little so bit. So I'm never going to forget <laughs> that one. But uh, it's good that's to rough. Back Mood. As the AD carry. We yeah. have one more. For Gotta me. respect that honesty. Flares, oh, Vulcan going in? Steps it, still has flash and cleanse if he needs it, but no fear. Wow, Sven doesn't even there, use the cleanse. And Licorice will follow up. Now on Vulcan, who oh, was the one super that punishes Vulcan for the play, and Sven picks up his second kill of the game. Two super punishes Sven Vulcan, sniping down Vulcan, his former support. Great right followed by Licorice. Have a chance to flash or saw the okay, so now they're grabbing Rift. Now two turrets to zero, both side lanes are down. C9 isn't really able to get mid. I mean, control. Dig is looking they're good. Not necessarily pushing the side lanes. Dig is looking pretty good in this game one. Jet. My not the only one who thinks, though. Predictions are not looking too hot right now. I think <laughs> I put Dignitas at the lowest because I was on the unconvinced side of putting a new roster together. But this, I mean, this game's so far from over. Click. But They're up 2k gold, but I mean, I did want to ah, it's far from enough to be able to just win the game. And C9 does have drags. So that's a really, really important win con to remember. To Dragon's so strong. So far, they're looking pretty damn good. They absolutely are. Uh, a lot of other teams weren't putting them up there as well. And uh, this is a thing that happens with Jensen teams. I will just get out in front of it and say he's not an incredible scrim player, but he's a very solid player on stage. And, and that's Kentech, with him being isn't solo it? killed. But after getting solo killed, he played the side lanes uh, mm. so far quite well as we're 18 minutes into the game. Also, the I'm last to see one if is I Sven can picked up the second kill 2 0 in mid lane. Find something that would tell me exactly what Jake it is. That Sven was playing AD carry. And maybe, maybe it tells me I'm just not seeing it. Was, was <laughs> Looks like Chemtech. Okay. But it's I, I I saw this over here. This looks like Chemtech. Actually, Actually, I could have seen it right here as well. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, Chemtech's not the strongest uh, soul, but still. Oh, anyway, yeah. Kate Winslow. What is this? Yeah, if you haven't seen it, she seamlessly slipped into the voice of Big Pennsylvania. Well, the voice? Uh, that's going to have to wait. A fight oh, Volk is dead again? Over the wall as he went a oh, wait, late, but Spica dies. Save him on that one. All out for Thanatos. Grabs Jensen as he plays. Yeah, oh, Jensen. To the damage in the long range of Cloud Nine's backline. Sven wow, and, and, and Cloud Nine just like that. Cloud Nine's doing great. Terrible timing on that, by the way, from from me for for calling that out because that could have been the turning point in the game. Jensen and Speaker both go down, but Lick okay, Lick just walks it out. Game. Maybe he's got a bit too far. Oh, they the got all the tier one mids though. Oh, that's a bummer for Dignitas. Cloud Nine able to stem the bleed. So they they have a lot of uh, pressure. They're game. able to put a lot of pressure onto the map. Still have two dragons to their name. That next dragon spawning in a minute and thirty. Very Let's see, Jojo's gonna game. get top. Licorice going up the there. Ability for Cloud Nine to get to Soul Point. Uh, 
See? See? Such a close game, guys. We got this. You think Lakers just kills JoJo here? No. Wow, that was so much damage from Blabber. Oh, but the steadfast presence. I'm telling you, Poppy just seems like such a good pick into this enemy team. He's got a strong front line in front of him in Leona. And okay, Sanchez so yeah, let's rewatch this. I didn't see how. Watch this fight one more time as it's Isles who sees the window to go in as Jensen flies in over the top. Great engage there. How does Jensen die exactly? So Spika is just on the wrong side of the map. Don't even get him. Spika who is sneaking the wow, Yeah, Jensen just took damage from a little bit of everywhere. And C9 very and just CC for too long. Did a very good job of reacting yeah. to that engage by Diz. <laughs> you see just a little bit of frustration from Spika, knowing that the burden of playing Vi is once you commit with the ultimate. We got more action though. Vulcan getting tagged up by Licorice oh, as he's trying to now kind of run away. Jojo Pion has arrived to the party with the teleport. The rest of Cloud9 able to maintain posture in this river as they are getting ready for the spawn of the third dragon. The rapid fire cannon completed for Jojo. Yeah, this is interesting. Oh, just just right. ultimate, so now oh! Down for Dick. It's really hard for them to actually get... The E for uh, Varus doesn't quite hit the Cassante after getting hit by the ult. That probably would have been decent damage, so even even on the Cassante. They don't have mid push, so C9 actually get to dictate this if Vulcan can find a good engage. Vulcan's actually hoping that they come into him so he can hex flash over the wall. Okay. Oh, wait, wait Licorice and a speaker on the JoJo? Flash, flash oh, and JoJo flashed out and just turned the whole thing around. Ooh, Berserker wasn't quite able to finish Licorice, though. That could have gone a lot worse for Dig. And they got Blabber. I didn't even see him get Blabber. I was so I was so busy watching I watched in the mid lane. As Jojo was deep within so that was the mid lane. huge for Dig so being able to confirm this drag. A cohesive way that that fight would ever work. That is, to me, players that are on completely different pages. But Dig and Toss make the decisive play, get the Drake they need, and stabilize to stop. Oh, but Jojo trades it for sword. top? I think that's 100% worth it for Dig. Always. The way they close out the game sooner than but later. good that C9 was able to pick up as something. Dignitas, now they're not quite Zen as pushed in everywhere. Not been dropped this entire game. I don't even think he's burned his flash or his cleanse at all. He has been, he's been playing a remarkable game so far, and I know that <laughs> this would mean so much to him as a player who. Once again, like we talked about at the Ooh, top of the was it demolish? Series, How much do you think he's going to do? He to give up his main spot to make room for Berserker to debut yeah. on that Cloud9 squad. If he was able to take him down, even in a game, let alone... Oh, really? Street, I didn't know Sven uh, so lost his spot to Berserker. The split as they're going to engage on the Isles. Oh, Isles. Super low. Oh, Maybe they can get oh wait, but but wait, that Q killed Blabber did so much damage. Sven, what are you doing? This is crazy. Okay, Sven. Triple kill over to Sven. Sven I mean, Isles back, does still baby. die, but who cares? Sven just wiped out half the team. The first game against Cloud9, and now These Qs are looking so strong. That was just Cloud9 trying to make a big play. Remember, I, I was saying Cloud9 should have banned the Varus. <laughs> annihilating him on the backside. Oh, that's rough. Led with ultimate, just blew up Blabber, and then the I mean, yeah, they, they do, uh, do get some damage on the mid, I guess. But situation and making it worse. really well done by Dig there. Dig. They are now well ahead of this game. Yep. And Three and a half? need to be extremely Good. careful, especially around Jojo put in the next fight because this Alright, so let's see here. What exactly happened? So, yeah, so Isles was kind of getting melted here. Wait, why is Leona ult the ult the Nautilus? That's so interesting. Beautifully played by Licorice. Actually, Licorice did so much there. And then like at this point, you could just with the steadfast presence, the ult hitting two people. So much damage. Kills, all going beautifully played so by going dig completely chunk through the court interesting ult by the the leona ice. maybe didn't see everyone or was he thinking they'd uh melt the nautilus a little bit quicker can stop the bleeding sven's got a 400 gold bounty on him i know if i'm cloud nine that he has got to be target numero uno but the problem <laughs> is is that I mean, I'm really glad that Sven's doing good. Cloud9 is severely lacking you don't have you know move, single moving over to play adc uh, again Speaker's vibe with the cease and desist. You have to hope that the solar flare will Yeah, Speaker just has like a guaranteed engage all the time with his old. The and that, that's just pretty much it. If Leona doesn't get so there's the four down here as well. Time, I don't know if they see Jojo. Is untouchable. Absolutely, both summers up. Baron minions now crashing. Licorice they definitely see Jojo now. Yeah, they're not going to get this. Teleport in. There's that ward behind. 
that they'd want to jump on in that you can see it on the mini map here or just above Sneaker's head right there. Same order. Oh, but they're getting um, mid. Liquor's just push pushing mid. Deep, Thanatos could and Thanatos is top. And try and flank, and that would be the window for C9 to try and come back. Here wow, tier two mid is just huge. Oh, wait, okay, so look at the TPs. So Licorice and then Thanatos. Oh, Spika! They knew they didn't have flash. It was an easy setup. Spika is able to get away from the rest of Cloud9. And now Licorice oh, is trying beautiful to hold by Spika. He's still has oh, wait, great by Thanatos. Keeps out, Berserker alive. He's blinking on HP. Oh, but Licorice is so tanky. Licorice, you're playing beautifully. Great hook by Isles. Oh, Dig just grabs it here. March. They are running through Cloud9. Cloud9 has so well played up, by Nikitosh everyone. Great job by Licorice so on multiple counts. Then really good engage by Spika. They were able to grab a. Uh... Absolutely annihilate him. So watch this one more so time. this. We called out the TP ward. We knew Licorice in mid lane, so we saw Cloud9 could have a chance. Spika grabs. I think Blabber here, right? They just straight up missed the Solar Flare as Dignitas moves up. They get the root from the extended Verisol. Oh no, actually grabs it onto Jojo. Oh, Jojo just, just the get melted there. And oh, and gets out. He, he did flash, but he was able to get out. To back -to -back oh, and Licorice is just playing so good on Poppy all game. I think Thanatos Van played it really well, trying to grab the Chat. Licorice. What Chad, if you told me last year Dignitas would be absolutely curb stomping Cloud It was rough on Berserker there, actually. I, I don't think you could do anything different you, there. You were, you were at like six health. <laughs> with four familiar faces who have all been passed up during the spring split. Ooh, the that hook from Isles was close onto JoJo. That you cannot undervalue them. And they're up now 6k gold. Six and a half yep. k gold. In fact, and they're about to grab drag. They might not count at all. That's how the narrative could shift throughout the rest of this. It's the, it's the interesting thing about best of threes here in the LCS. This would usually be like, wow, Dignitas takes down Cloud9, but they're going to have to be able to be consistent. Yeah, they have to beat them, to beat them at least one more time. They can't give up two, uh, two losses here say, on the best of three. In terms of the questions of it, how's Licorice going to look winning first team all pro top lane in 2023 summer, not getting a team oh. and coming back, what's he going to be able to do? Wait, so Licorice won. He was, won. Was, up 10 CS against like, he was he's declared the best top laner. 2023 summer split of the LCS. And then nobody signed him? Same question. Yes. Honestly, you feel like it has to be like a money thing or something, but that's still really surprising. Who's not signing, you know, LeBron James or Tom Brady or something like that? That's insane. the biggest one. With all the winning he's done throughout all his totally different sports, How totally well different scenarios. I totally get that. To so many of but still, if you if you're you labeled know, the best, wins throughout their NA run, and now in his first game back on AD carry since 2021 spring, 5-0-3 on that bear. Yeah, Sven is looking strong. Sweat, still has his cleanse. Like he's played so well and so clean in this first game. Yeah. AD carry king let's see back ladies and gentlemen for those who are so bears done up for another minute or so remembering the time that Sven was and it's two on drags and two drags so soul is not really within that uh 20 20 the so adc inactive they bring him back to support goes and inactive and then he's adc Sven again had quite the up and down career Having i hope you do great Sven. this is awesome this is this could be like your comeback on adc in. that would be this is gonna be a really Maybe cool storyline to keep up with because he just wanted to play on a team so much damage championships and he even developed into a fine, high-level support for the LCS caliber and said, you know what, I want to play AD Carry again. Didn't get offers or one offer that stuck for him in the spring. Took his time to grind solo queue. And he is back in form. What an incredible That's really way cool. to open up your summer split. So we're definitely keeping Still track of Sven's uh, ability throughout this and, and see how he does. First split back onto ADC after a while. And then the time the last Baron spawned now is 7,000 gold lead. Uh, let, let's look to see how Dignitas controls. Yeah, parents up in 15 seconds. Even though they're veteran players, sometimes combining a lot of veterans can have some big issues because they don't have. Oh, C9 seems to expect to something game. around yeah. this part. Uh, they're actually a little bit off timer on their resets right now. Thanatos so is making his way up too. Sven just came out of mid lane, but I want to see how they play around this Baron to find what could be a game-ending engage. It's all about hmm. how they can. Actually, Sven is Loki so protected. Edge of Night and has cleanse and flash. He'd have to really get grabbed or something. 
Great damage from Blabber Q. Licorice is behind him! Wait, Licorice! Speaker! Oh, Blabber's dead! No for them! Oh, C9! Oh, C9 just loses it. Great job by Thanatos, like, doing his best, but there's nothing. Great job by Licorice. What an engage by Licorice. Blabber just... Blabber couldn't do anything. Play because they were actually able to hold the mid lane and even win mid push 3v5. Is he grab, is he which grab Baron again? Rest of the team time to run around the Ow. back flank. And even though it looked like I don't, I don't, I don't see how C9 is coming back from this one. Was way ahead of the rest of the team. There was no hesitation with everybody else flying in to follow Ooh. up. Spika and Jensen flying in to kill Blabber and an easy, clean team fight win and Baron take by a Dignitas. Licorice is playing play so before. well. Making Nearly Poppy look 10, really, really good. Gold lead for Dignitas in their first game of the summer split, thirteen to four against Cloud. Oh, okay. So we're gonna be able to watch so this again. I didn't even see Licorice at first. Yeah, I didn't see him like make it way on a map, Dignitas but this is really well done. Why am I even tried to flash? Oh, it's just rough. Oh wait! Unfortunately, Jad, Dignitas are not done with this fight. Wait, okay, Licorice is dead. Oh, were they traded for Thanatos? Okay, so top laners are dead. I didn't see how Licorice died so quickly. Oh, engaged by Spika. No oh, Spika got melted. So another one full in trade. Oh, okay. 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 So they were able to grab uh, Jojo. So made, made it a good trade on uh, Dig's, uh, Dig's side. Pretty aggressive build by Speaker as well with Sundered Sky, Black Queen. I wish I saw a Licorice die. He's so tanky at this point. The fact that Jojo was able to take one with him, I think will potentially extend this game. If this is a four... Ah, spend us so much damage. They might have been able to go for the end. Oh, Blabber! I think it's going to be the mid lane inhibitor. 19th LCS all time for assists? That's crazy. Way to go. And respawns, they'll have a faster approach to this fight. Yeah, 10 seconds on Thanatos, 20 seconds on Jojo. Yeah, they're just going to grab this in heaven and leave. Probably probably set up a drag. Time to reset after there is another dragon spawning in the next 26 seconds. Oh, there they got. They got the edge of Nile off of Sven. One out of three, uh, <laughs> three safety things. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the gold at, at the moment. Jensen's sitting on 1,500, but it's just going to be as... Okay, so let's see how Licorice died here. Licorice wants to kill Berserker. But the rest of Cloud9 reacts pretty well in this situation. I mean, Berserker does steal... Oh, Vulcan and Vanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so a little a little aggressive by Licorice, but it really... Sky. That's so much There's damage. Really high damage build by Berserker there, so he shreds him while that's happening. Yeah, Berserker build. Now, uh, Berserker has the the three item spike that they need. So many chem techs. Yeah, nearly every player on Dignitas is an item ahead of their counterpart. This is that's insane. This is quite dire for Cloud9, and we already knew that the track record did not speak favorably for them when it came to. Being able to win games when they were behind the curve. That's such a that's just an interesting stat. Because at that point, it feels like you should draft into an earlier game team, right? If you know that C9 struggles later on, if they're behind. Not being in the right position at the right times, and Cloud9 are going to have a lot of questions to answer going into this. Ooh, they're just gonna. I mean, they still have Baron. They're just gonna rush down this tier two top. Oh yeah, they definitely get it. All right, Jensen. Let's see what you got. Oh, they're stuck. Like, uh, like a uh, fish in a bowl. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. So they they able to get Vulcan and push everyone else out. Oh wait, they got Thanatos as well. Oh, three and M's. Just game. Against the team with 13,000 gold ahead, it's not likely. Wow, they're just happen. melting these Dignitas. turrets, guys. So many questions around this team, but the way oh, they came in the game, they dive and kill Jojo. Split, it's looking like a big dig summer, baby. Eight zero seven. That was really spin. well played. They want to get this berserker kill, too. They want to go for it. Here wow, we they really went all in. Getting more kills for the KDA stats. Pad them up. Dig the top. Take the first game. Wow, that was pretty dominating on Dick's side. It was really, er, it was really close early on, but after like 15 minutes, it really, really went to Dig. All right, so let's see how this game goes, or this could be series actually if Dig has another dominating game. Timo, wait, Timo. Timo. I mean, they they shifted away from trying to snowball. Wait, this looks like the exact same bands actually. 
Cloud9 banned all these ADC support right, style champions, and then the Skarner, Triss, and Rumble. Also, they didn't ban Varus. That's just Ven just had a beautiful Varus game, so they must be way more worried about these guys. And they're strong. I get it. But they're okay giving up the Cassante of Lictris when she grabs Cassante. Oh, wait, are they just going to grab the Rakan? I didn't realize that Isles liked Rakan that much. I'm not too familiar. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're back. Game two, Dignitas can close Let's out the best of three match against Cloud9 with the win here, or C9 can send it to game three. And this is the question we a had to ask team? earlier. Is this Dig team a super team? It depends on your definition. I want to leave it <laughs> ambiguous. Vote now in chat. If you look I at the I do wonder, you think super players, team? I think you'd they have do have some, some have strong veterans on. Team. I, have my I wonder answer, what the we'll definition of like a veteran or a super team on League would be. All right, now that my right arm you know, is it like, like it's about to fall what was it, like 2016 Golden State Warriors for basketball? There, I won't call that a super team. I absolutely appreciate it. Day one, opening day of LCS summer, new format, new teams. It's worth it. You got to do it big for the return. So Camille of the counters Cassante, right? Do. I'm so excited for everything that's to come. And it's wow, just, that's some good it's only poke. the first day of the first week. We still have plenty of more action along I'm also, the next I'm kind of months. excited to see... A little so bit far, of a Raquan, or a, in the level one. not Raquan. No, I was going to say Hui, but then I looked at the Raquan, I was like, I am also excited to see the Raquan. But Raquan and uh, Hui, I don't see a lot of them. I see a little bit more Hui, but yeah, I, think I feel like, like I haven't seen Raquan in a long time. Despite uh, really thinking that Raquan's a good pick. I think they're going to be trying to stack a wave top lane and bring as many people as they can to take down the Cassante at some point, but we're pretty far away from that. And Trying to get really some gold into Camille, making maybe? Making sure they can get to a point where Thanatos feels safe to play aggressive in the lane as Camille. Oh, wow. They got they quite a poke on Vulcan there. On Poppy as well. Poppy support, I'd say, if you watched MSI, uh, Mickey made it look absolutely broken in certain <laughs> instances, but I haven't seen that many players really It is crazy how you can see... You know, certain players make certain picks look just unstoppable, yeah. uh, but in a with, traditional sense, they're not that much better. <laughs> it's you really just have to be super sharp on this pick to make it work, because it's not like he's got a Callista or something that he's able to shut down. Yeah. You do see. have a lot of all-in power in the early laning phase, especially since he took that hail of blades. The wave clear by Huey just looks so disgusting. Try to just burst either the There's no dash from down and see if you can Jensen, so he doesn't have to be worried trade. about. Also. That at if all Vulcan from gets uh, out of this laning phase early and Talia. looks like Rome's on the top side of the map, then it can get really dangerous for Jensen and Licorice. I mean, Jensen missed the cannon, it's over. Jensen missed cannon? Yeah, Heartbreaking. Go -go I've well. been there. See, that's FFable right there. <laughs> yeah, Jensen. So, he got solo killed in game one, didn't end up mattering. I'd say one thing about Jensen on stage is he is able to create, uh, like, stabilizing oh. forces in the game. Or, like after 10 minutes so so much those champions are like really lane, mana like, hungry JoJo that's crazy i was watching their clear at, at this stage in both their careers like jojo is a better laner than jensen Good but by jensen's ability to keep his farm up keep his gold up and always contribute in team fights is almost unmatched i'd say yeah. for mid laners in the lcs i mean we saw a testament to that in their last playoff series in spring where i think jensen didn't drop a single death in the entire FlyQuest oh series God. against Cloud9. <laughs> yeah. and JoJo Make sure he's having a good Father's Day. Either. And it looks like Chat has voted no dig is not a super team. No. I think I'd agree with that. Is not a super team and the fans are not happy in the so, right games. Arena. Hold on. I agree with this and it's not a bad thing if you're a dig fan. Like, Cloud9 was called a super team last split and look what happened to <laughs> I love the fact that the crowd's upset about it. in a reasonable place. Mm. If you want to have the success at the end this, of the day. This is true. Super teams in NA do not have a great track record. I think so people are just are so quick to pull the term super team Dick out. Is not a super team. But yeah, I'd have to see have what other people well, think super clearly. team yeah. means. I mean, they're, they're definitely not. To me, super team is something like just unstoppable. Split. Like, right. yes, their peaks so, like, you, there, or you could call, for example, T1 uh, a super team if you wanted to. Like, they won Worlds, so and they kept the exact guys. same team. Like, if you wanted to call that a super team, like, maybe. But that's because they have proven results, Guardians. right? The org gets deleted. That's interesting, yeah. find a team for Spring Split. Now he's back, one up against Cloud9. Similar stories for, for Spika and Sven, just different ways of getting Those there. Those supports from mid. Oh, are they rotating up for, like, what are they rotating up for? I mean, there, there were so many rumors of Like, I was thinking, like, oh, maybe our grubs are up, but grubs not even up. 
amount of slots in the Unless they wanted to try and pressure for drag, but Nobi looks Golden like they're even posturing for drag. Even the league, and then fewer spots for someone like Spica or someone like Zen. Wait, they are they really are doing what the announcer said earlier. They're trying to target uh, Licorice so they can get Thanatos ahead. Hey, they wanted to start the Thanatos train early, Six. but the all-out is going to bring Vulcan over the wall for the Ignite. Wait, no way. Licorice! Okay, JoJo's there for the no! Ignite. Ignite gets the final tick first. I was like, wait, that's so spicy. So he walks out, the Ignite point. and everything. I don't know if it cost them a huge amount. That was and then JoJo just walks really up and... For that game from Cloud9 because Licorice Could be worse, really though. Vulcan's the one who got the kill. Level six. He was trying to get the wave in, and he felt like if he get level six, he'd be able to get out alive. He gets it's incredibly close. low before six, so he can't fly over the wall in time, and C9 is able to execute the kill. The one unfortunate thing for them, though, is the kill does go over to the support poppy, so it's not necessarily going to slingshot Thanatos in any meaningful way. Yeah, yeah that was first blood, too. Immediately back into wave, like, if that first wave, blood would have went to JoJo, this, so that could have been totally be different. Completely fine, despite dying there and losing his ultimate. Check this out as Berserker's gonna face check Isles. See, so dude, Rakan is just so strong with all his dashes. All bottom side jungle, so there's nothing to play for I really thought that, line. like, uh, Berserker had caught him out and everything. Licorice, no flash, no ultimate. Thanatos just dinged six, so Here Blabber can Here return and set up an easy kill for Thanatos, but it looks like he doesn't want to commit. Ooh. They're just gonna bully Licorice. Licorice saw it. Lic Licorice noted it. That, all right, I see you. But they still get uh, grubs out of it. So, no matter what, that's a good rotation by Blabber. Unless you're actually bringing JoJo on that timer so licorice good game sense Ooh, wait game actually makes a roam here and oh. jojo jojo flashing the fear from jensen crucial as that could have been lights out yeah that's crazy yeah, what a like great gonna be able to you don't see a lot of really good uh rotations by top laners i feel like but that was beautiful by licorice along the way but he's got no backup I mean, Blabber should be able to... Yeah, I don't think Blabber needs to be afraid of this. I think Blabber can posture very aggressively. Not that Licorice, you know, isn't threatening in any way. It's more of... Thanatos can come on down, and then Jojo was pretty available after Jensen back. Am I reading that right? 87 to 60? No, 67. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say, 87 to 60 would have been yeah? insane. Well, they the Wait, what an ult by Berserker. They just want to clear out the wave that quickly? Everyone's adjusting to their new environment. There you go. There That's you interesting. Go. Yeah, only up 7 CS. So it's See, it's, it's plays like that that I'm just not at a high enough level play, IQ to Pika understand. Right, like I would have just cleared out the wave, slow but sure. Target, and, and then Jojo up, dies. And Jojo has no way Great job by Jensen Spica. Elba combo. The flash from Licorice Rome early. Jensen keeping yeah, because Licorice got the flash position. earlier. Nice Spica call out. Converting on that position. Look at Thanatos just dancing well, around Licorice. The board. That also takes Jojo off the map. So this stacked way. Uh, they got a plate from him too, and Thanatos just leaves. Meal disgusting. To be fair, so is Cassante. Both these champions are disgusting. They deserve the hate that they get. As we talked about before, when you are playing Vi, and every time you have that ultimate up and available, you need to be hunting for summoner spells, you need to be hunting for kills. That guarantees that you are still relevant as the game continues to progress. He even pros misfarmered once in a while. <laughs> has not found a chance to use this ultimate, I believe, because he wasn't six when they made the first gank on Licorice early on. Let's see. Nice thing with Sensei There's no objectives up because they grabbed the uh, Blabber grabbed those Krugs like a minute ago. If you get something cool, you can a couple minutes ago, actually, now from the looks of it. It's fine. They're going to be up in two need more minutes. As well. So Cloud9 are going to be thinking about where they can Big wave being able to get picked up by Thanatos. No flash, but it seems a little difficult to try and take him down. Oh, okay. That's some aggression by Berserker. But Isles is here to make sure that he can safely catch this wave. Ben just having to back up a bit. Berserker's ultimate's gonna make him less lethal in a potential fight. Great, engaged by the Poppy. Wow, I was actually took damage there. What's the? I wonder what the cooldown on Zeri ult is. That's a nice amount of damage on the Isle. Because he's using it kind of aggressively, I guess, is the best way to put it. Above it. I'm curious if Blabber's gonna slink on over to the bottom side. Oh, that's a lot of damage onto Jensen. Really well played by JoJo. He didn't have to burn any of them during that Spica's first there. game for a majority of that game. But Spika's here to protect it. Yeah, good defense by Dignitas so far, as long as Blabber can't find an angle. Blabber's able to just kind of chill there. Do you think they'll be able to dive? Because Spika's going up to Wolves. Well. They oh, they saw him. 
If you can do it from fog and hit Isles before he has a chance to react, to maybe. Great ult oh by JoJo. JoJo's gun follows up. And the cleanse is uh, spend, spend, spend flash and cleanse into just, uh, just too Already much. To a CC. Distance, but he still so it's a TP by uh, Jensen. Oh, wait, Vulcan is the, uh, the ult. Vulcan tried to use the keeper's to hit Let's Jensen. see what's going to happen here with Jensen. Spika goes in, and the steadfast presence is down from the poppy. Wait, there, there's so much going on. Jensen! Jensen triple kill! Wait, that's actually so insane. Berserker, the only one to survive, but it's a triple for Jensen. Jensen teleporting in to save the day. I feel like I didn't, I didn't realize that TP was going to do so much. Absolutely everything. And that's the reason that was able to be a neutral play because the setup here... Actually, so this is so such a good ult by uh, JoJo. Like, Sven does everything right, too. There's, there's just, you just get caught with so much CC, so that happens. There's four down here, though. I honestly did not think this was going to be that great of the... Uh, of the TP, but Jensen, so that beautiful. Kind of interesting that Blabba walked back too, with the ult on him. So Jensen also gra oh, just beautifully played. Berserker survives, so that's that's good at least. There he's surviving. Also, a little hard. So Poppy did miss that ult. That would have been a totally different scenario if Vulcan hit the Poppy ult onto Jensen as soon as he got in. Looked like he was maybe a little bit too far away from where he needed to be and like slightly mistimed. But like the vision, I see the vision. Flowers can attest that that is just like, oh man, all right. Well, three abilities on Q, three abilities on W, three abilities on E, and then ultimate plus passive. Jensen Hui is so GG. Yeah. Once again, this time it's the second. It was, that was really well done. Whereas Dignitas gets the second rotation of grubs. And already the community is talking. And they're saying Talk in the we trash. cannot be sleeping on Jensen anymore, guys. You just can't. I mean, he had a really good split on FlyQuest. He yeah. just wasn't good on Annie. Like, that's... Yeah, I, I'm really... I would love to know more about the also, whole them getting rid of Jensen. Fresh start for him uh -oh. on Dignitas here. So Jensen oh, might be dead here, but... Curse commences. Yeah. This is not just the caster curse, Jet. It is the community curse. They hype him up, and then he is caught overextended. He is caught overextended. Away, and it still doesn't matter. First turret likely going over to C9 here as well. More and Joe just getting some gold there. Turret plates. Uh, a couple of to be fair, I think uh, promising things about Cloud. I think the wink on here is uh, Berserker Zeri, right? Did get the triple kill and it did backfire a little bit. Um, it's their ability to create their own play, and I think that's one of Thanatos the biggest is pretty far ahead top lane as well, though. them from ever coming from a 15-minute gold deficit to win a game. But yeah, and no, no. Uh, going back to kind of no Jensen. Up. It was, was no, it was really interesting to me to hear that they that flag quest no was choosing to bench and Jensen. They created two plays around bot lane here. One got them the first kill and then the triple kill for Jensen, and the second there actually ended up killing Jensen. But if they can set up the map into positions where they can actually get things happening without like needing a dragon to be there, yeah. it's a really good sign. Oh, so Vulcan jumped time. into it. Oh, off of kind of aggressive by Dig. Uh, might be in trouble. The ignite and the keeper's verdict interrupting his vault breaker. One more threat of volley would do the trick. But Berserker cannot get in range. Oh, Berserker's going to be able to follow up here, though. Pops the ulti. A couple more on attack. There it is. Yeah. Despair. Dissuades him from participating. Wait. Oh. Jensen, the what the fuck? Fight on back. The Vulcan's a little too tanky for them to take down. <laughs> so much Berserker. damage. He just got blew up. He got played right there in in the eventual. I mean, he hit the the hole in the seven. So long that again. Strike and everything, yeah, but that was so much damage. At the end of the day, more gold over to Jensen. Let's see what happens here. So, well, we just keep. I did, I do feel like they were maybe a little aggressive here on Dig's side. And then they, if they could kill him here, it ends up being a really clean play. But then the extended play. Great follow by Jensen, but also really great follow by Berserker. I just want to see. I don't feel like Berserker played this wrong per se. Spiraling despair into severing bolt. Yeah, just so much damage yeah, by Quay. Yeah, because yeah. it's it's all about the passive as well. Wow. You get two abilities hitting on the same target, it deals bonus damage. And oh, interesting. Also does execute damage, mm. or at least more when it's below a certain. Oh yeah. So that will always catch up. I think yep. the, the other thing that caught Berserker by surprise is after the triple kill, Jensen got. Super accelerated. Jojo Kun in that fight was on components, whereas Jensen still had a or had a full Archangel staff. It's still not a Seraphs quite yet, but just having that extra. Yeah, Hoi's gonna be an issue for sure. Time, definitely just gonna. Wow, great job! Oh, wow. 
trouble the chance way to go that was a huge pick on Isles. Yeah. They just take the clean kill. Huge play. Look where Thanatos is. He's been pushing the bot lane yeah. the entire time. That was a 4v5 where they picked up a kill. Like, the fact that Dig sat 5v4, didn't get anything happen. Actually, oh, happen. but that's Disaster rough. Vulcan, gives Vulcan is right dead. Back, <laughs> trying to get vision. Trade. Yeah, trade for the support. Still a good game state for Cloud9 overall, though. They're pushing, pressuring side lanes way I mean, Cloud9's more up like 2k gold, though. They have a lot of threat on, on mid-wave because they always have the side lanes pressed in and the Camille or the Talia, if they ever go into fog of war, can threaten yeah, the mid lane. Yeah, Berserker has so the majority of that gold lead though. So I, I do think it comes down to a Berserker's uh, Zeri. Jensen has four kills, the team but itself, Dignitas, is down one and a half thousand gold. Yep. is gonna hurt. Next Dragon is not spawning for another minute and some change. Rift Herald, I think it's This could also come down to just who gets the better engage earlier. between the Sedge and the... And they look to punish Licorice. Blabber's in the area, but he was spotted, and Licorice oh, is no, just going to throw the teleport. He's not seen. Blabber uh, checks the wrong bush. Didn't think that he would be in the area. Interesting. Uh, it, it's always fun to watch uh, people use TP as an escape. Yeah, I wasn't willing to throw a blind alt with the guest there. Can't fault him for that with Drake coming up in 45 seconds. Ocean, Ocean Soul for the day. Not going to be a huge Drake for either team, but... Still a potential win condition if they are able to stack it and get the soul. This has been a really good game so far. Game so far, it hasn't been blown out by Dignitas like it did in game one towards the mid game. This I feel like C9 around, has a little bit of Cloud pressure on them compared to Dig, though. Ahead of Dignitas and Gold. The C9 loses this a whole series. For the stats, if they as a first series too. Out, but obviously, there is a lot of work to do. And clearly, this is a big is looking good. What they drafted in game one. A lot more objective setup and engage power now relies on Ooh. Blabber's shoulders. So that Vulcan isn't the only one that has to be fishing. The peak is coming down. Those picks. Yeah, I will say Dick has more range. So if you try to find the in the mid lane, a lot of times Dick will win the poke battle. I think C9 will need to be able to push side lanes and then collapse on them. Uh, I feel like they, Dick they know that peak is there, right? Checking space. But you can see there. Even without by showing I'm sure they assume so, but the do they do they have a they do not for sure. Has been doing that work on the bottom side if he could get an ult onto like JoJo. Wow, right okay. Vulcan. Vulcan got Isles out of there. Trying to see if they can continue the engage, but no Honestly, I think that's a really good ult by JoJo. Just gotta stop them. As the rest of Cloud9 back off in the fight. Uh Blabber's Sejuani ultimate went in the wrong direction. Yeah. For sure. He turned oh. that backwards. Totally uh, in the wrong so direction. A bit of a Could have been maybe a different fight. I don't I don't know if it would have led to anything, but they would have been able to disengage like a little bit cleaner. Maybe not lose the drag here. He actually has to reset to base and dig just wrestle control of that Drake away from C9. Yeah, they took away one of the long range engages from Cloud9. Both mid laters with uh despite Sarah. Tank, his first item is yeah. really a support item, so he's not as tanky <laughs> as you would think at this point in the game. So he cannot be the one stepping up, and if both he and Vulcan are not willing to contest, then yeah, these objectives Sun are super sky for the easy for to toss hmm. control. Yeah, really it does output quite a bit of damage. For Blabber coming up, I think obviously everyone was just you know, despite Jens or uh, yeah, Jens is being so far ahead like kill wise and everything. Right Jojo has done such a good job but staying. Blabber I mean, almost even in gold. In a while, the, Fourteen off right now, fifteen. What a good job First by JoJo. Yeah. He's further down that ranking than I've seen him for years. Game one here, one and seven on Italy. Game two here on Super Mario. Great here job. Oh, the engage by Spika. JoJo, he flashes away. Oh, and Berserker. Is in trouble, dancing away, but Spika doesn't have that mobility or the flexibility. Oh, Danatos. What an engage. With the ult. Oh, that's rough. Jesse was able to turn that around. Doesn't respect the damage from Jensen. With the licorice as well. Picks off Berserker, and now Cloud9 are on the run. Oh, Thanatos goes too deep. He yeah, that was super deep. Ends up falling to the turret, and what had started with this. And then a good follow-up by Licorice. I didn't even see that whole thing from Licorice. In Dignitas's favor, it looks like they killed Berserker, which is huge. I want to watch this one more time because the okay, so great engage, I think, by Spika. They kind of go all in on JoJo. Great ult JoJo for JoJo staying alive. Get bursted out. Seraph Shield comes in huge for him there. Yeah, a lot of right here, output damage from Berserker. Berserker. And yeah, Thanatos just a little bit too deep. Jensen, so look at, like, okay, so I do see how Licorice got into, or onto, uh, Berserker.
So <laughs> the severing bolt probably helped a lot with the slow. A winning situation, but they come out of it with an extra kill. Yeah. Cloud9 are still slightly ahead in gold, but it's nothing to run away with the game with just Yeah, the they are still a thousand up. Still very Which is crazy. I feel like Diggs won a lot of these fights. Of the Do you think series. the macro on C9 is just been better? Because they've been able to, I mean, like they are setting up be up like the whole game. I don't think there's been a time where they were down in gold. Maybe, contest for tier one, maybe for a little bit. Cloud9 start to shift their maybe, yeah, maybe when that first the side, the triple kill first came through for Jensen. Look at that huge wave right there. And JoJo's gonna pick it up. Yeah, JoJo's been able to consistently be, be up in gold. Like this, well, he's like down from Jensen, but, minutes, but keep up with gold. That's, that's, that's the way I was thinking of. Uneasy, losing control of that third so drake. When Thanatos is going down to match the blue fresh. They still are able to create these. You know, there's actually position, all of C9s to up by this Baron. Deeper vision, actually execute the flanks in in strong ways and get the lead. I think right now with Baron up, it's not exactly something anything any team can rush. No one has crazy Baron damage. And the next Drake being in two minutes, you're just kind of holding steady and needing to see a strong Drake set up here for Cloud9 for the next Drake. You know, Berserk is up a thousand in gold. Berserk is gonna hurt. Time can Cloud9 buy I, you know, I assume he's going for Lord Dominic's, right? If they can contest for it. Berserker is on two items. He doesn't have flash for the next fight. Would have to wait another two, three-ish minutes before he feels. Look at that amazing vision score by the uh, the rest by the Rakan. Eighty-two. No That's kind of insane. Flash and Vulcan. No flash on Thanatos either. Blabber's the only one that has it. But this gives a plethora of options for hmm. Sika, who can commit with a cease and desist. And they know that Blabber's there. Really easy for Jensen and Sven to follow up with their long-range folk. Just looking at, at the waves, though, it's like so pushed in on top, so pushed in on bot, mid lane pretty deep. Yeah, Cloud9's doing a good vision, job keeping him pressured. Here, it becomes a lot easier to start actually getting picks at Drake, but it's just so difficult for Dig to group up and feel safe. Because mm. So this is so point for Dig. It seemed like it was working that, that well for Thanatos early on, but now without a flash, it's We're getting a ready for soul point to be extended on the side lane. He has teleport, so he can always join on the cross map if things get a little hairy for Cloud9. <laughs> That's funny. Away, and that buys enough time for Cloud9 so they got they got top tier two. Stage. That's pretty good. Yep. So That's some great macro right there. That tier two turret. Thirty seconds until the next Drake though. And Blabber's been able to just kind of farm it. Being a little bit slow to that objective. Dig just needs to so everyone's up on Cloud9 sure side. Gold wise. But then I think Dig is going to have pretty good position for this next Drake, uh, even though it seems like a nice play for them to get that top trick. Oh, they actually overstayed in the top lane just now, mm. uh, trying to get Jensen, but Jensen threw Ooh. some skill shots and pushed them back. So they're incredibly late. Five seconds before Drake is not necessarily when you would want to recall. Uh, but it, it, okay, so, so C9 now back. Be a battle but that drags up. Saw for the third Drake. Yeah, and Berserker's the first one to touch it now. He can't really step up super aggressively because he has to take caution. Flicker's going to be able to ward it. They didn't have vision you know, I, I'm pretty sure C9's going to grab this drag no just based on what I'm looking at. Jensen's top. He didn't have a wall to skate he has CP. From the ultimate. I guess it depends how aggressive it. everyone wants to, to toss now, trying to fight for posture, kind of posture for river. it. Berserker should be the first one to touch this wave again, but a teleport coming in from Jensen so he can join Frey. The rest of I love that he TP'd on the cannon to hold the cannon back. The the river, and that just makes it even more difficult for Cloud9 to contest. Yeah, it is a little tricky. If you're the team to start Dragon and you're not ready to fight... So Dig, yeah, uh, Dig starts Dragon, just but Blabber's the there. ...the other team to collapse on you, because they're doing this without mid or top prio. So that's actually how C9... Oh, and C9 just zone. gives it up. C9 just don't, doesn't think it win. Doesn't seem like it's going to happen. No, no, do. But Cloud9 will try to brute force for this next wave. They're early crashing it, catching it high. The Weaver's Wall is going to cut off Dignitas. They don't necessarily need to engage. Just bully them away from Wow, the yeah, they're going to get so tier they two mid. This tier two and at least trade something for the dragon. So they're getting more gold. Here's the fight. Thanatos on the Licorice, but not committing the ultimate quite yet. Dignitas oh, wait. Okay, okay great engage. Licorice is getting melted, but he's able Licorice to survive. Huge Thanatos ult by Thanatos, but now he's really deep. The oh, doesn't matter. What a beauty! Has arrested Dignitas now down a man. Do Cloud Nine one? Wow, they're gonna start Drake. Or I'm sorry, uh, Baron. Oh, Thanatos with some really clever dodges at the end of that fight. After his aggressive play gives him the only kill, and that's gonna wow. be start this Baron straight up. There's a the, lot yeah, of they're starting burn. it. No Baron's ultimate. No Rakan ultimate, and that Baron's already half health. 
Vulcan's gonna ult out the Thanatos. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Spica. Nice keeper's verdict. Punch I saw Thanatos, uh, they uh teleport in. Yeah. For the King okay, of Cloud9 was even able to grab Baron. Back on TSM, they don't even give him that chance. Get him straight out of there. You know, they, so they lost the, uh, the third drag, the but they were able to gain the Baron. That's a pretty good trade. Already outside of the base and wearing a Baron buff. They did give up Soul Point, though, so it is important that they make something happen with this Baron buff to extend this gold lead to a point where they Watching can have the so differences on their carries, which they kind of have right now. Three items on Talia, three items onto the Zeri, and two and a half onto Thanatos, who... Really yeah, you know, Berserker. That entire sequence for C9. Yep. Berserker is just slowly but surely scaling. He's gonna hurt really bad. He got. He did get the Lord Dominic's, by the way. He's gonna start melting. Ooh. Wow, Liquid is just, just absolutely chunked there. They still lost the uh, tier two for bot. Are they were able to get something. They got tier one from. Death and splitting. Okay. Okay, so Liquid is holding top, but wow, Thanatos is just dead! Yeah, Thanatos is just dead. They got the uh, tier 3 from bot. So over, overall, I think that's, you know, Cloud9 is very happy with that. Thinking about the worst and best things that happen when the other team has Baron, that's really high on the list for Dig. They traded the top turret. For two turrets bot lane, sure, but then they get a kill on a Thanatos, and now we're even counter pushing. Yeah, I mean, it could have been a lot worse for Dig, that's for sure. Wait, so much damage on JoJo! And he's dead! JoJo's dead! And Dig just, oh, Dig just kills him! Flav is dead too! And Berserk is not gonna be able to, you know, aggressively go in there either. What a great fight by Dig. What a so much damage on JoJo. 5,000 gold down, not having the Baron buff, and they just wipe C9 in the mid lane. If they had more minions, they could have taken that push extremely deep. Yeah. Jensen continuing to land the skill. Hold on, so let's see this. How did JoJo pick, just get... Second pick here, oh, just he gets rooted because of turret, Jensen's... The first root lands, whatever that ability's called. Team composition works for Dig. If so much damage on JoJo. They're blowing up the rest of the team. Jeez. Uh, the original pick on Thanatos, I think it was started was just like a vault breaker from Spica. Yeah. They changed that with Recon. They changed that with Verisol. Wow, that that's huge. So an, a sneaky amount of CC, that that uh, doesn't put Dig back in the driver's seat per, per se. Like they're still down on gold. That CC on, but that made up yeah, for pretty much so the whole Baron push. Rooted, like they somehow won w this whole Baron power play. Gaze of the Abyss. That's impressive. Oh, oh, Spika's found another target on the fan. Oh, and no Danatos is dead again. For 50 seconds, too. Paris. It has been a little more competitive from Cloud9's side. That drags up in like 50 seconds. Is still proving to be an absolute beast on this to be fair, Thanatos uh, with uh, Camille, this is a squishy champion. You gotta be careful. With four players and facing Soul. Oh, great ult by JoJo. Yeah, Spika was just too far forward. From the support of Dignitas. And he gets taken down. Ooh, but Dragon that's some good poke in then. Won't be up for another 40. This should Let's see, be Jensen's on his way down, though. Oh, it's a banger alert, though, because it is 44. Oh, so Dick okay. is not going to want C9 to even TP start by Licorice. this dragon. They're going to try and push him off here and maybe buy some time for Spika to make oh, it Oh, Licorice is just so tanky, bro. Greedy, though. Thanatos will teleport in behind them, and yep. C9 will have a 5v4. Yeah, there's multiple wards in the jungle quadrant right above. I think that's think Thanatos the, is just going to TP in behind them? That seems really aggressive and not like a... No, nope. okay, okay, okay. Any teleport flanks from Thanatos. He's actually just going to teleport to mid, yeah. The yeah, push that, that, that makes a lot of Vulcan sense. Taking a lot of damage from the chain of corruption to the poke. Yeah, and Dick oh, so and Vulcan just dead, him. right? Yeah. Ah! Oh, wait, but Alex is dead now, too. Let's see what Liquid is going to be able to do. Spika just respawned and is running from the base, but I don't think he's going to get And C9 grabbed that dragon, so stop them from the soul. a lucky snipe. Maybe Sven can channel his Uner Gumuyushi, but he's already Ooh. fired the arrow, and the secure is there for Blabber. Oh, that would have been crazy Jeez, if Justin grabbed it. With a lot of confidence there for not having Sven. I thought they were going to try some type of fight, but just didn't have the tools. Oh, we got Yeah. Game. Yeah. I mean... Speak again, caught out earlier. Caught that, series that's that's rough for uh, Dig. Because this game really well played by C9. So incredibly close. So really, despite Vulcan dying, C9, they were able to trade it for Isles and then still grab the uh, drag. That's awesome. 
I, I'd say early season jitters from Thanatos, like getting caught out in the side lane twice, but also making some incredible plays that open uh, up. Ah, you can't even blame Thanatos for one of those. And then just incredibly steady play from Jensen and Sven. Like they are putting out so much. Like that first one, I don't. Uh, any of I mean, yeah, a little bit too far yeah, forward, but. Remember that this is second one, yeah, second one, sure. LCS debut. This is his tier one debut because he tier was one in debut. the LCK Challenger scene. For you know, so I haven't watched the challengers. I maybe I should watch some of those as well. Banner, even back when they were. Dan but I know they're going to be changing them like TWG starting TWG next TWG year. TWG. So I just. And he was on their academy team towards know. the tail end of 2020 before getting promoted. Maybe maybe this just isn't enough games. Challengers <laughs> team in 2021. I mean, this guy has been under yeah. pretty much one org for so long, yeah. and then now being given that chance to play on a tier one stage here in the LCS I don't know what that second Cloud team Nine. is and to be frank this isn't the first time that Cloud9 has made an investment into a, an LCK Challenges prospect you remember when Berserker came from T1 and he's had a, a remarkable career so far and, and speaking of which you uh told All me right, that so Berserker has three Zeri Pentakills in his career yep these are some of the Pentakill prerequisites uh <laughs> sure. for Oh, he has full crit now. Wait, wait, wait. Does Runa sell crit? I think it does. If he doesn't get poked out at the beginning of the fight. So yeah, Berserker has 100% crit here on his on his autos yeah. or his Q, Remember, whatever. Has a little bit more range, so they can outpoke them. But if C9 find a clean engage, they'd have the advantage, I'd say. Yep. Dick's playing pretty aggressively here. On the right side, Keeper's verdict will punch one. Oh, pop the spell shield they were able to get so Jensen out of there. If he gets too close, keeping his distance. Oh, but Licorice is just so tanky. Oh wow, Li I like over the wall. But he's still Doesn't matter. For his Great Both job by C9. Kill and the rest of Dignitas are on the run. Varus alt missed there as Ooh, the seven strikes are still hurt. Engage, like Dig could still win this low. fight if uh Cloud Nine's not careful. Maybe they think about making a play for Like I don't think they're going to be able to start Baron. Quite quickly with the Speaker's still alive. Items. It's not like they killed Speaker or they killed Jensen or anything. They killed they killed one of the tanks. Berserker saved all that whole time, so he still has it if Dig tries to fight. Oh, okay. To add to his career if he can find the angle for it. But Licorice would have to spawn and then give them another kill. 6k HP. Let's see what's going to happen here. They just, oh, they're Cloud just leaving Baron. They don't want to take too much poke. Hey, they were respecting the fact that that's a 50 50 foot play. Either with Licorice being up in, in eight. You know, I, I, I respect that though. Doesn't have TP. The timer's close enough. Because, you know, Sven, Sven's going to hurt. Jensen's going to hurt. Speak again. Dash in with his Q. Now that he's alive. So. Just the He's pushing up those waves. And a reset. As the game intensity stays about the same. It's awesome, man. Drags I up in a minute and a half. Backstage and I said, Julian, my you know, like, if Dig's able to grab it, that's huge because it's soul. But going if C9 teams. grabs it, it gets yeah. them the soul yeah, point. Definitely in position for it if Cloud9 can close out this game. Great, Great job by Vulcan. Isles was caught out. Great job by Vulcan. Pop him like a balloon, and the rest of Dignitas now have to work with only four members while Cloud9 have the freedom to turn on this Baron. And the yeah, they're gonna grab Baron here. Is so weak without Isles, so I think they might end up giving this oh, they're not even gonna try. Already at 6,000 health, Dig they just can't contest it. Yep. Dignitas, the, the best thing to do there. is go for the mid wave, and even Jojo threw Isles out the getting caught out there. That's rough. Cut off that minion wave to stop it from crashing to the turret. It, it was a great okay, job though. Baron. Blabber really pressured him, and Vulcan ago, following it up. up to Beautiful. Gets picked, it backfires, with Baron though, they might be able to break two, open this base. This Actually, they already broke open the base bot lane. The they might be able to. Just trying to brute force this turret down. Keeper's verdict. They go for Sven, but he pops the cleanse and he's able to get away. They can end the seismic shove with just a simple sidestep. But the tier three is fell on the top side of the map. No, they're gonna back the uh, drag. Now have to dig I was thinking like, wow, they have they so much damage and CC the line, and whatnot. Are they gonna try and like the grab the inhib and push them into though, end? They didn't actually kill the inhibitors, so they're not gonna have a push in the top lane there. And yeah, they didn't stay for the inhib it's even. Sole point for dig. C9 just have to five v five this with the Baron. Buff, I mean, they're up four k gold. Mid push, but they're still gonna have to be able. To push Dig but Dig can win though. If Dig just plays smart throughout the game, this series of events in this next two minutes could very well spell the end of the game. Oh, for sure. So poking over the wall with the W. Being a toss, trying to find posture in this. Oh, red. Isles needs to not get caught red. though. Isles, it's Isles. Licorice. Oh wait, and uh. Isles getting caught once again. A four v five. Okay. Now in favor of Cloud Nine. Dragon is. It's alive funny how King, important picking off Isles sure. is. Dig Second time he got picked. Vision. And Isles is running around trying to get it and c9 have just put a target on him pick him for baron yeah him for drake 
Both teams now Not yet, so point. point, but the goal lead for C9 increases. Ooh. It's getting incredible. Looks like it might be going to you game three. Isles is trying to move with Spica, trying to move with Licorice, and for Isles, he has a lot oh, of mobility. Oh, look at that poke from Sven onto JoJo. The problem is he's not the most durable support either. Knight's foul and Locket is only going to Yeah, we're causing a little awkward. So <laughs> not kind of AP, but... Doesn't do a whole bunch of damage. Like is Not really tanky Dante. either. He really is just that CC bot. That can go as a heal on his Q, but like, no, nah, not really. What are you doing, man? He's over by Raptors as, as C9 is, is pushing this inhibitor. I guess it's fine. <laughs> it turned out fine. Not punished, it seems like. The speaker just trying to catch up with gold a little bit. He's three items. Bottom lane inhibitor from now. Yeah, okay. I mean... With a minute left on Baron buff, I thought C9 was going to play more aggressive there. But I, I, they may have ran... Yeah, I think they should have played more aggressive top lane, though. So I don't... <laughs> in case Spica, I don't know. I must, know be, I must be missing something really for, important uh, here. Maybe JoJo or Berserker. I mean, both of them have a flash. Or maybe they just... At least they feel so confident friends, they don't want to make any mistakes. You know what I mean? They don't, play, they don't want to play, like, too aggressive and then get caught or something like that. Yeah. They believe that they if they play slow, they're inevitably going to win. Right? Yeah, I kind of feel like if Dig wins this game, it has to be through picks. Yep. Uh, I think if you're if you're entering into a five But I, I guess they're also just giving Digs more chances, which seems kind of weird. Items. Look at that you damage know, from Zeri on the so speaker. Anytime C9 wants to make like a snap engage, uh, it's likely going to work. Ooh, but that was but really good poke on a JoJo in reverse. Picked, that's how Dignitas would have it. So it's up to Cloud9 to not dilly dally and take their time in making the siege happen. As soon as they find an angle, you have to hard commit, you have to brute force before Dignitas stacks too much damage from the safety of long range. The rest of Cloud9, no more Baron. You really gotta dodge side. those uh, Zeri Ws. Easier. Licorice is catching the wave on the top side of the map, still has teleport. Are there any wards? that Cloud9 have to be concerned about if they you know they're down two in hit turrets. They really just need a pick, right? Is not that deadly, and then like two one two or one three one or something. So Dick doesn't have that many options to be completely honest. But I but I I thought this game was gonna be over seven minutes ago when <laughs> C9 had the first Baron and we're pushing, but Dig managed to fight back. Uh, it's does 40 minutes have in. More full mage items on way, if like, them being ahead on gold almost this doesn't matter. Very reminiscent you know? of Cloud9's game against 100 Thieves. Like, obviously, it matters, but. It seems like they had a strong lead. I don't know. Mm. Berserker was on Zeri. He got a pentakill, but they couldn't close out the game. And then in yeah. one team fight. Although, actually, Vulcan on Poppy has been really good. Up, He's got some good ults. Game, it, it, all those efforts just completely. Yeah, Sven's 18 away. now. So they have to be cautious. Bloodthirster completed for Berserker now. Gonna make him even more lethal. New Bloodthirster as well. No crit. Just attack damage and a whole lot of life. The amount of stress <laughs> feeling about. As well as the old shield. <laughs> this is the, yeah, this, you're right. This is the type of. Dig game needs to dig deep. deep. I love it. And it's the type of game that they had a hard time closing in spring. Yeah, so, so Berserker's just full build here. In their defense. Anecdotally, I feel like it's very strong full bill, so that I mean yeah, that should be able to just end it, right? Not sure exactly wow, Blabber just walks up! Ah, Blabber just walks up! What is this? Face checking and gets hit by the sparling despair. It doesn't matter though, because Blabber is so tanky. For the sake of cloud nine if that was anyone else, that might have mattered. The stress and the anxiety of this never ending seeming game. That was good though for C9. He didn't burn anything. Warm was gonna bring him back up. I was lost ignite and Reconnell. Yeah. yeah. So that was great what trade for C9. When Baron spawns, and C9 might just use that well, as full a health. way of creating a game-ending fight. Ah, uh, you just gotta be, be prepared for this for the Zerker. Doing a great job of if, if you can pick Berserker Baron, as a uh, dig, that might be your only possibility to win the fight. And, and I think it maybe falls down to Jensen to hit like a really good severing strike. In his career. So far, I do appreciate Bob seeing how good Warmogs has been. Out of the jungle quadrant quite yet, but they're gonna they, yeah, they're just starting it. Now. And Vulcan has ult up. Yeah, no ultimate. No oh, they're melting this. Really, really well played by C9. And Vulcan pops the blast cone. No one can get in. Baron is secured by Cloud9. 
And Soul Point is on Antos the is bought. Seconds. He should just be able to push this out but and grab this in him. Still heavily in favor of C9. Same situation here for Dig. Their patience is going to be running a little bit. Oh, later. this is Dragon Antos Soul. Is threatening that inhibitor. He's just gonna take it. Yeah. I mean, choose. they can't really back and stop soul, him. Or do you want to save your base? Because Thanatos is making short work as a. Oh wait, he has. Yeah, he has Baron. He's got he Baron empowered end. minions. He can look to end. He's actually teleporting to make sure that he can get out alive. And the rest of Cloud Nine. Oh, Thanatos going in. This has been very well done by uh, C9. Spica. Can they have enough damage to burst him out? Thanatos and Thanatos survives. survives. Thank you, Ocean Soul. Cloud Nine sends you. Oh, that's huge. Do not get the pick on Thanatos. Wow. Even the guardian angel would have kept him alive with the backup arriving from C9. It is seeming more and more inevitable. That yeah, how does Dick come back Rafa, here? We're gonna go I, I mean, they could grab Elder if they're able to hold off that long. In the first day of the best but at this point, they, I mean, I don't know. They've been bullied out of every split. objective. I'm not Bonus seeing how they... The Legends coming at you if Cloud9 can close this one out. Here's the Weaver's Wall. Really good Weaver's Wall. Last in hit turret, yeah. Night, so he's safe for now. Licorice, Licorice trying to do something. And Licorice is dead! He is taking and Berserker flashes on in. Tries to get some damage down. Does not pop yeah, three and him's down. Yet. I'm not sure. Rest of Cloud Nine making the seize through all three lanes. Oh. As Isles is gonna pop the quickness. Jojo. Isles did pop ult, but. Stasis down. Protect him. Sven is taken. Oh out of the yeah. Cloud Great Nine. job by Cloud Nine. Just picking Take them all off. This series away. Ding the toss. We're gonna have to fight game back. Game three. Nine it to game the three. second series going to game three. I am loving this. Beautifully played that by Cloud9. Cloud9 respond. Uh, I do want to point out that more the than the jacks. will be Maokai So Cloud9 last night banned the uh, Jacks. But we've seen Maokai in the So let's see what Licorice true. is able to we've do. Seen Sejuani, wow, Faithful, is he going back to Kaisa? Orianna against everything for Jensen. It's a really good team fight comp they have yep, right now yep. actually. And you have decent They didn't talk about systems too. Like maybe banning the Kaisa. Leap in. Counter Strike stun to set up into the Oriana Shock. Be fair, could also be a flex Sejuani trick into support. In as well. And depending on what Dignitas picks, I don't think they're going to. Who do they pick here for the support? Alka? Now, Dignitas Braum. is the final piece okay. of this composition. They do have Lux. Yes, sir, the mustache is in. Options and the Glacial Prison. And it's more See of a defensive goes. option with yes. the Braum because the Glacial Fissure is not necessarily a strong engage option, but it can slow down. Yeah. The story okay. players that so look at this, look at this. Giving Licorice another chance in the LCS. Maokai, Letting no ben pot. Play AD carry once again. Sedge took a pot. Popping Jensen into the mid lane as well, I, even though it didn't I remember go so well the first time around. When I learned jungle, you and never are supposed to take a pot. One, but now some of them take of pots. Now, other than some and I have no idea when it's right or when it's wrong to do so because I don't play enough jungle. And I'm trying to learn it, but I, I just can't figure out when I'm supposed to take the pot or why why you take the pot or why you don't take the pot. You know what I mean? It's almost like what would happen in a Interesting. Interesting thoughts for me. Also, huge trade mid lane. Dig and C9 will be facing each other in the regular season. Jensen always loves and relishes taking down some of his former teams. So you know he really wants this one. And C9 as well. Going in early bot lane. Level one all in for Berserker and Vulcan. Gets a decent a chunk great on the Ven. But as you called it, the Braum passive. Stunning up Vulcan. Getting a decent trade back. But it's still advantageous for Cloud9. The flash forward. Well, E onto Sven. Getting his flash out as well. Uh, that flash almost super trouble. punished them. The Braum stacks on top. Popping the cleanse. The ignite. Forcing Isles away. That was so, great so body blocking no by Berserker. Sven, no heal Isles. No ignite Vulcan. No cleanse Berserker. Two, four, three, because Vulcan flash as well. It looks like he has a flash up just because his head flash. That's Braum for you, man. That, yeah, really that's hard half to of the. Uh, I want to see how Isles plays the this Summoner's game. bot lane. Yeah. Rafa, because he had a. And this was bump only engages a Vulcan. Isles or Zvet hasn't really engaged at all. Award on Blabber's red buff, so they will know once he crosses into the bottom side of the map. Since there's so just many. Missed it. They just missed it. The oh. word expired. It was right here. But it just expired before he moved down, so they don't 100% see ah. him here, even if they can assume. Okay, so 
Berserker still has flash, but Spika is trying to make the mm -hmm. move first before Blabber can complete his full clear and affect the bottom lane. If Spika can at least get the summoner spell out of Berserker, yeah. it's a win. We got the ult, or I'm sorry, got the flash. Slowly move up towards his top side. So now the re-engage later camps. on, or the regain no later on by uh, Spika could be menacing. Around, trying to steal his camps. Like no slow. summoners up for Wall bot lane on C9 so side. Make these little pit stops in lanes. Good job by Spika. Yeah, it's just really great adaptation. Once bot, bot lane gets super volatile like that, I'm immediately as a jungler trying to see if I can get there first before the other jungler can affect the lane. They didn't leave wards though, and Blabber doesn't care. Okay. I mean, Berserker's not in lane anyway, so the gank wouldn't have had any real threat. Right. The sacrifice that Spika does give up is that he is behind on levels. Mm. As Blabber is able to complete the full clear, he gets access to that bottom crab. He should be able to get access to the top crab since yeah. Jojo already has first push as well. So Blabber is slightly ahead of the curve. But considering that it's a tank on tank matchup, I think Spika's okay if that sets up Sven and Isles for a success. Exactly. I think the way that C9 actually win the game is with Berserker getting far ahead or with Thanatos really pressuring the Jacks and taking multiple plates early and using that sideline pressure throughout the game. It's not through Maokai having an 8 CS advantage in four minutes against Sejuani. Right. So we'll see. I, Blabber's always incredibly efficient, but uh, I'd say it's just, it's just a trade here. Flash for a couple camps. Thanatos is starting to proxy the top side of the map. Spika getting a reset in. Book or B lining towards the top side of the map. That was a huge wave top side, guys. Thanatos picked, or, uh, was able to put up a huge wave. Also, Spika saw Thanatos, right? And then he walked in front of Thanatos? just fairly neutral at the start of this game. Aside from the spiciness we saw at level one, kind of skill checking each other, ego checking each other, Jojo and Jensen, and then in the bot lane as well. A uh, couple skill shots falling a little bit sideways that could have, I think, led to kills on either side. But that's uh, that's the aggression level that Sven is bringing up against his former bot lane. CS is still even between the former duo. Now rivals in this 80 carry lane. We saw moments of brilliance from Sven on Varus in pretty much the entire series so far up until this game three. Where's the Berserker? Is he in trouble? Blabber's nearby. The shockwave just pulls him right back on top of the sombrero. But Spika gets flipped up. Hmm. And Jojo, not in any real danger. Yeah, Jojo definitely wins that trade. I mean, Jensen probably even lost more health, no longer has the ultimate. And Jojo ends up. Maybe just a little bit too soon. In. Spika wasn't uh, quite, quite ready to help with that engage. Here now with the level advantage, this is where it starts kicking in. They can maybe. Think about Dragon soon, but yeah, just not enough, not enough bot pressure at the moment to make anything happen. Yeah. And even though they have the summoner advantage on Berserker, it's difficult for Isles and Sven to really punish that. No, I totally understand the love of big water bottles. And having this silly little handle here is the, amazing. Uh, concussive blow stacking. I deeply appreciate it. Playing at range. They seed wave control, but he's still safe. So C9 has like definitely been the one prioritizing. Grubs. Spika doesn't get a chance to really answer back on the dragon yeah. quite yet. I mean, way higher priority on Grubs for Cloud9 than, than for Dignitas this series. I think if you're thinking about just the first spawn of Grubs, that's going to be nine Grubs for C9 and yeah. zero for Dignitas. Which I, I, so I think Grubs is really strong, don't get me wrong. Because Blabber has a little bit of extra time. Their bot lane did decide Beautiful. to Beautiful. moving out. After remember to do that if I ever so play Maokai okay. jungle, or any jungle, to try and do that. Because that was with these guys coming beautiful up, to watch. If they're going to try and dive and break this game open through top lane. Because Dick doesn't know this is here yet. Yep. Spika is in the area. Bleeding level 6 after this red buff. If he does, mm. then it'll be huge. I don't see where Blabber is, so I don't know. Oh, no, he, he's, oh wow! He's Berserker's there! Volgan's there! Everyone in the kitchen sink! No way, wait, 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 no, this isn't possible. Wait, wait! Use my Blabber with the flash kill! That's the play, and also that the was beautiful. Fortification is gone now. They so did they invest a lot up there, though, so they kind of needed that. Trading them with the bot side, but then since they didn't have someone die, Thanatos teleports into the bot side to check this turret. That was a great overall play by Cloud9, even if it 
very nearly didn't get the kill. Yeah, that would have been rough if Jax got out of that. Licorice played it beautifully. I really thought that Licorice was about to get out for a second. But really good flash by Blabber. Having yet to make an impact on the map, maybe can look. Oh, Vulcan on the Jensen. Locks down Jensen, but he still has Oh, Jensen just walks out. He is not pressed to use it just yet. Wow, really well played all around by everyone. On it's almost like they're pros. A lot of people would have considered flashing in that situation. Just holds completely strong. Let's the wave crash. Clears and the then Dig and does end up getting dragged. With the swap back, end up getting the Drake for their troubles most likely. Unless On this Vulcan. Flies over the wall Vulcan. No, okay, okay. I could hope. Would have been cool if he sniped it. But Dignitas secure the first dragon of the game. No large inherent gold advantage for cloud nine quite yet just just shy of 1k but they're gonna have to do a lot more to really snowball it in this game as we saw in game two they Let's were for see. the most part ahead despite not being a huge yeah, i mean it's still just a really close game a long time to close most of the golds on the yeah, maokai I mean, funnily enough if c9 wins this one they have to win it who is actually that, destroying uh, sedge and farm as well 21 how much scaling dignitas has and how kind of disgusting their okay team fighting is going to be yeah so c9 definitely needs to look to continue to make more plays like 1000 gold through nine minutes is good like 1000 gold three grubs it's a good start to this game but they need to Ooh, find that was a good engage by renekton with, that was really spicy you know, i almost wish i could watch the rest of it for the sake of cloud Sven has been doing really good farming like he's been able to keep up with the berserker all of these games Ben's looked good did not find a window where they could punish him during and he played Varus every single time they just never and cared enough to ban Varus and they picked Varus pretty early on and they must be just in their mind like way worried about Senna or Ash or something like that compared to the Varus really about when they get their first but yeah Sven's been really good on this Varus losing the Drake will hurt them a little bit but I think overall if Cloud9 wins this Let's one, see. they know where Vulcan uh, is, and then barons, they see what his edge is. So many pings, dude. They're so good at looking at their map and pinging way, and whatnot. Uh, still, we've had pretty low kill early games, I'd say, in the series, even if the games themselves have been fairly active. Yeah. There's been a lot of meticulous action from <laughs> both sides of this series. They've been very reserved. Let's At see, Liquid is pretty, where they want to move pretty on the aggressively map postured. I, despite being a level down, actually. They see Blabber. This time on the Sichuani, has not found anything yet. He so no wonder he could posture so aggressively. He, he truly in, believed in that, in uh, and ended up that ward. To flash away Ooh, what a great grab from uh, Jojo. It didn't end up mattering a whole yeah, bunch, but like that was still Blabber good. Is camping out the next set of grubs. They really want, they really want these grubs, yeah. Of those, it appears. Oh, they got vision on it. First on so they know this. Well, I don't this think I don't think they're in any kind of position to stop it, though. When you are going for max control on objectives because now yeah. you start spamming those saplings and normally if this yeah. is like Maokai, you don't care about the saplings but with Leandre's rush and early on in the game wow he already has Leandre's being so far ahead in gold really mattered it's even more difficult for Dignitas to challenge and contest these corridors very Berserker aggressive by Berserker be the recipient of another die but I'll just hear and sneak oh and, and the turn up Thanatos and maybe on uh, uh, Vulcan as well Okay, okay, wait, so Berserker was able to get Licorice, though? That was really, really well played. Okay. Ooh. So they did end up killing Vulcan eventually. It just took a little bit longer than I thought it would. And also, the teleport was expended there, so Jensen can potentially get more free time with this bot turn. Yeah, wow. I think it was a little aggressive by Berserker, but maybe that was what was absolutely necessary. Because they almost didn't get Licorice. But Thanatos goes down as well, which won't open up a huge gap between him and the Jacks. So this is actually a little I, bit I like ahead now. I see that. I really like. Okay, so let me watch exactly. Lane, so I'm see seeing Vulcan the stun. Start this play. Going in by Berserker. In early, they've already burned a lot of their CC. Oh. So they think they kind of just have to go. Thanatos um, just Thanatos got stunned up on so many different no things. Great engage by yes, Jojo. Now that I'm rewatching it, that was actually so well played by Jojo. A big win for I think that's the only reason they ended up getting him. Yeah. They did have to invest everything up there, though. The play cleanly and rushing steps. You really want your tankiest members to soak up the turret. So they can Ow, kind of max heartbreaking that Sedge has both kills, though. I mean, super tanky um, now. That, They're no longer uh, behind the Maokai. Now suffering the consequences as Dignitas equalized the game in gold. Yeah back to 
normal lane setups. Cloud Drake up in about 40 seconds. Jensen mm. trying to rush towards that first item, but it's How slow aggressively on do you think Ding's gonna posture for this after, so second drag? Not necessarily either mid laner is gonna be super powerful. I like the uh, Jojo and Vulcan are still top. Answer into the Leandri is actually Sejuani versus Maokai here because you'll have the jungler checking the saplings. So Sven's gonna be able to pick up. At the end of the day. Yep. Ooh! Then, wow, they went for that ult. Able to sidestep the chain of corruptions. Very crucial since he is. He's really Without low flash, here. Summer ah. spell after the, the botched dive on the top side of the map would have been able to use cleanse, but, but then at the same time, Jojo just picks up that turret. Yeah, to just go for this dragon first and turret top alongside the rest of Cloud Nine. Berserker below 50% HP, trying to catch this wave. Thanatos is here, but there's multiple I mean, members of Cloud Nine on the top side. Yeah, it looks like they just really yeah. they were willing to lose top to posture for this drag. Yeah, Cloud Nine. And they did get bot as well, so that, yeah, they just postured so bot rid of top. Uh, that was one they were able to get a little bit of damage on mid as well. Lane swapping early is that first turret gold bonus would be increased, but it does mean that second Drake for Dignitas, and I think overall it's kind of going as planned for Dig because they want to just outscale and absorb. Oh wait, are they also going to grab the, uh, all the void grubs and all the Rift Heralds? The Rift Herald but as well. And, and, and until that, that looks turns like it. Into nobody's going to be able to come stop game, him. I think Dig is very happy giving it to him. Yeah, because. Normally, wow. you have six void grubs, it empowers a lot of your long range marksmen to siege the turrets quickly. Unfortunately for them, their only AD carry is a Kaisa, and that's a relatively short range marksman. Yeah, so I think they're just going to drop it mid. Safely, considering that there is a lot of long range disengage from Dignitas. All right, Sven. All right, Sven. Still hasn't popped the flash. Finally does oh, it, but Blabbery is already on the way. Just too the much. That was a great ult by Jojo as well. I agree with by everyone. Getting the kill and Vulcan was able to hit him. Blabber was able to follow really up. Nice and Jojo was able to stop him from getting Five too far away. Descending on mid lane, burning all four summoner spells and hey, still getting Sven. the kill. I would and Sven used all his, uh, Sven would have cleanse flash they used his cleanse flash. If he would have been able to escape, but nonetheless, when you send five people mid, you'd expect to be able to get at least one kill. Let's watch this one more time. Oh, so, yeah. All four summoner spells up. So it's ult. As Vulcan lands... The Leon ultimate and like right here. Oh wow, he actually got stunned there. I thought he was on the edge of it. A little bit earlier. Uh, that way he might have enough distance so Blabber can't get that W. So does Ben cleanse and then walk into and the next one? They actually live. Is that what like happened? That, but live and learn as Thanatos is getting ganked up. He has flash and he pops. So you assume Zamdos just dies, right? Know, yeah. Bail him out this time in the two v one. Okay. Easily gets. I honestly wasn't sure at first with that turn. Staff. The rest of Dignitas able to collapse and pick up a clean kill. Whereas the rest of Cloud9 still laying siege to this. Wow, yeah, one. they did use it on mid. Will crash, and they should be able to felt the turret. Yeah, Varus ultimate misses means T9 can stay fairly aggressive. Yeah, Spence missed two ults there. It, That's rough. I think with no Varus ult, no Sejuani ult, they're just going to easily grab it. Just tap it. More hit. Tap it. There you go. <laughs> They got there eventually. They couldn't even. It would have been stupid to defend that turret too much right, more. Well, the map if you tried to defend a non existent turret that died, that would have been rough. The ones on the top side and the mid lane as well. So it makes it easier for them to push so that. So the only line, turret encroaching that Dig the has is the, the bot side turret. And when you have so the mid and like top that C9 has been able to grab. They are going to start littering all the jungle corridors of Dignitas. It's gonna make it super ah, you know, Kaisa is pretty far ahead. And if you ever step into two and oh, he's a thousand up from Varus. Yeah, Vulcan is waiting. Or he has Kraken. Lights out. And the way C9 won game mm. two, even if it was drawn out, was through really dominating vision control. And they're going Rage Blade next the side lanes well, and they kind of just picked off Isles uh, many, many times. This time, though, I'd say Dig, even though they don't have like an amazing Dig's way to, definitely to seems answer to be that, they're just stronger. Drag Soul. So they're more likely to be able to just group up and go than they were in the last game where they had to kind of group up, poke. To be fair, I think Dig might angle. scale a little bit more. So not by I much still though. Honestly, can't really say who's gonna win this game. It's been such an incredible series. C9 trying to crash down on this bot lane. They need to make these kinds of plays happen since they don't have any Drakes. Well, Dignitas answer back with three members of their own, so they're able to dissuade the just picking up some Cloud R4 on Taha. Finding nothing on Licorice. He's been able to Definitely solo farm quite a bit this game. As well. Cloud Nine, I mean, one it does look like JoJo's going to be heading up. The series was, can they grow from the big conflict from their spring split? Let's can see. they find a way to close out these Wow, there's actually four down here. At 15 minutes, Looks like Sven's making his way. Oh, look at that! Game. 
Too bad I hit Vulcan of all people. Prison, but it is tanked up by Cloud9. No one is in danger quite yet. Yeah, I mean, you're not killing anybody with Sizwani Brom Jax in every <laughs> floor, no matter how much CC you land. And honestly, I don't know how much damage this uh, overall, though, Sven's going to be able to do with Boris. Hello? I mean, he's popping the Counter Strike early. Him. Get him. Yeah, he's wow, got a dead. killer instinct in. Leap Strike and the Flash from Licorice to answer Vulcan's own Flash. But that was really aggressive by Licorice. HP Spica has him make sure he did, can did he maybe think he had follow up? Out to safety. Double TPs. I believe it's coming in from wow. Jensen. Wow. Wait, wait, Licorice is still backing? Spica. Wait, what am I missing? Decent combo, seismic shove on the speaker. Oh, speaker's dead. Speaker down, and he yeah, that's rough. Committed once again. Cloud Nine punishing the jungler of Dignitas. Ooh, Sven dealt quite a bit of damage on Blabber there. Okay, another positive play for Cloud Nine. Oh, wait, was Licorice back in to be able to match Stannis' uh, top? To or I'm sorry, mid. That tracks a little bit more. A little bit of CC. Blabber can fly in. It's a little, little surprising. Kaisers still hurt as much as they always have. Wait, but it looks so like Dig set up pretty though, well to be able to do spent drag. That kill, I think Dig is actually just gonna push this to soul. I think Dig's happy with this, aren't they? He's gonna get vision on the dragon now, thanks to the sapling. I mean, but Licorice is blocking the top corridor. Yeah. I I, I'd almost want to say suicide for this, but they can't get vision to make it say suicide. Yeah. And I think no smite on Dig. He could have just stolen it if he had vision. But That's I crazy. If Blabber was Dig does just grab that soul point. I don't know. Baron is still up for, isn't up for another 30 seconds. Maybe Cloud9 would have had time if Blabber died for the dragon. Huh. Got a chance to respawn. I looked like, it looked like that was really bad for Dig until they got the dragon. Now it seems like, like yeah, they're down gold wise, but they're, they're at soul point for the, I mean, it's only 20 minutes in. I've been trying to find this window to talk about Dignitas overall because it is actually very exciting that they're pushing Cloud9 this deep into the series. Just because the existing synergy between all of these players, they are a little bit thrown together. Like they all are connected in a strange way, but to have three players that didn't play last split, oh, that true. have all played a long time, and in theory would all have slightly or very different views on the game, to come together and look cohesive off the bat. Yeah, I'm so excited yeah, for Dig just this really year. Impressive to me, or this split, I guess, is a better way to put I it. When I think about all the rumors I was hearing that Dig actually wasn't playing that well in scrims. Yeah, so I they were going through it in off season, trying to make all this work. And first game against Cloud Nine, like, good luck, guys. Yeah. Um, and they're they're going toe to toe with them. They I do respect that Cloud Nine is just seen as such a household team, name in the LCS. A great series, and I'm just and everyone just respects them as as the as a strong team. But Dig is playing great. I think the benefit of having so many experienced To be fair though, C9 has been up in gold like every game. Wait, the Glacial Prison's huge! Oh, he's dead. Yep, yep, yep. So dead. Was it worth it? I'm not sure. He got the blue buff! And actually, I, I think I'm wrong. Uh, Dignitas might have gotten the, the secure on the yeah, blue buff. Yeah, got the blue as well. Yeah. Oh, then it wasn't Wait. worth it. Oh, man. And he, he did that for Dig, or he did that Blabber's for Blue Buff and died. Licorice has TP. He can block Thanatos from moving in, but Bla but Ooh, is really strong. This is a pretty risky move for Dig. No Sejal, Actually, I don't think no it's risky Brawl, at all. No Barisol, and They're Grisman melting this? Trucked him for a bunch of damage. Let's see. Everything would have to come down to a massive shockwave from Jensen. Teleports are coming in from Thanatos. Jojo Pion is going to use the Weaver's Wall to try okay, to Okay, Licorice is there. On the all they need side. to do- Wait! Five wait! Tiles. The Berserker melted down. them! Vulcan is traded. Beautifully played by uh, a Vulcan. Vulcan. What a good ult and everything. Wait, Sven! Wait, doesn't matter! Protection's huge! Wait, that's crazy! Okay, and Berserker should be able to follow up here. Are they gonna get the kill on Spica? Oh, they got so punished for that Baron! Just in time for Blabber to get back on the map. Oh, are they just they just grab Baron now. What a cue by Thanatos. C9 now move towards the Baron. They can blow this gold lead to at least wow. 1,000 here. Thanatos it That might have been the turning second, point. Like he wasn't going to quite chase in for the kill, but he gets it. And there's a teleport. Jensen wants something to happen. Mika, we know this guy can steal Barons, but he can't get into the pit. 1,200 Yeah. HP. Okay, Blabber, okay. Fishing for the Glacial Prisons. A uh, flash from Blabber trying to go Wait, and they're, they're on Jensen well. again. Wait, Vulcan, you're playing so out of your mind. Oh, Wait, what a shot wave. Wait, Berserker's going to gonna be able to follow up, though. Berserker ends it. And he can still run amok on Dignitas, and they have to see the fight. Ooh. Okay. That, that was, was cool. close. So it's not blown completely wide open. Cloud9 do secure the Baron. 
But Jensen is Zerker is huge right now. This game, and you can see how I did not put enough respect on his name earlier. I say, where are we going back to? We're going back to the original. Peel Look at just how much damage Berserker awesome. does here. They just so melted. And the great ult right, right there by the Vulcan. And it but why, okay, so watch this uh, Renekton Q right here. Job dodging the Berserker engage, but here oh. Ganatos, it's and it so heals nice him so much he too. That's rough. He survived and everything. And then also Blast Cone himself into safety. Yeah, Berserker and hurts so bad. Was the perfect set of plays at the end there by Thanatos. And Cloud9 do have the lead in this game. Oof. Cloud9 that was beautifully played by like everyone. A <laughs> little this bit better played by C9 it looked like, but beautifully played by everyone. One more yeah, that was a great Renekton play. And look and try to put the finishing touches on this game because Dignitas are at soul point. Yeah, which is coming up in 35 yeah, Baron seconds. as well. No cleanse flash on Berserker. So he's 503. So Dig, Dig like, real game, goal here is to just Dig be able to somehow posture to be able Dig to grab drag and not lose too many turrets, right? The soul, and that mountain soul is more than enough to make up for the 3,000 gold difference. So massive play here as Mountain Drake spawns in 20 seconds. Can Dignitas find the inner strength to withstand the onslaught of Cloud9? So Licorice is setting up pretty deep there. Almost 4, 000, 000 so he's hoping for, uh, like, a flank play. Coming up in five seconds as Cloud9 fights I mean, they have decent CC oh, the on the side of Dig. Oh, with the Glacial Prison. Oh, wait, but Vulcan into the back! And it's over! Wait, it's over! Jensen just kills them all! Huge! Oh, uh, speaker survived. Lucky, lucky on that point. But yeah, they grabbed Jack for sure. Going over to Cloud Nine. This, this series has been a banger, man. That wow. Engage was so yeah, Vulcan's all absolutely catches everyone on Dig in the choke point. It allows JoJo to combo up with the seismic shove and doesn't give Dig a chance. Oh, Licorice, Licorice is just and dead here. Licorice might be in nope. trouble. Okay, in the flash over the wall. No further lockdown for the rest of Cloud9, but that is a summoner spell down for the top laner Dignitas. As they and they're grabbing two turns here. Yeah, I think that, that Baron just turned the game around. From crumbling, Cloud9 making short work of the tier two in the mid lane. And this is best of three days. So, yeah, man. just watch this one, Vulcan. He e cute ulted, it's and it was so beautiful. Really right on his Ben. for Dig to actually make it through this narrow choke because they don't have waves, so they can't approach from there and look at Vulcan. So he actually didn't eat Spen or, or anything. It was Jensen. I apologize. No real threat on him since they've been able to one oh, they just melted him all so bad. Spen was the well. only one who, <laughs> who like, didn't die. Oh, and it's funny because so Liquor set up so far away. Right, Liquor was really trying for that series. flank play. And then it turned into Vulcan just him being too far away. Finding his stride in the back half of this series now. The first game... A lot of the solar players were not quite hitting, but this time around in game three, he's landed two critical solar flares onto the backline members. Yeah, Vulcan's playing out of his mind. He played pretty good on Poppy last game too, but Leona's looking yeah. good on him. Both the summoner spells from him and Isles, and now that last one near the dragon, denying soul away from Dignitas and Cloud9. If this is the form that they can try and continue improving on as the summer split goes, maybe they can eventually become the super team that was promised yeah. at the beginning of the super season. team i'll say if the meta is going to be tank supports to build war mogs that's really good for vulcan yes sir he he excels yeah lots of war mogs fighting and finding angles he was much weaker in the enchanter meta compared to his greatness on <laughs> tank supports so even if it oh, seems so much paper, damage by berserker like cloud nine just wow look he went terminus the meta changed. So he they doesn't even have uh, the enhanced uh, W. As well, he went on a journey. He didn't, so they're going to have a lot of opportunity. Rage Blade doesn't give enough. He needs Nash's too. So he needs some kind of AP item. Reach the potential that we know they have. So instead of going and completing and his changes, not just passive on W, he chose Terminus. Honestly, he's so far ahead, though. That might be the right move. Large sign of growth from what we saw. He doesn't need a poke. In spring, he wants one person to get CC together, and he's dashing sure in there. That Dignitas cannot enter these jungle corridors for free. They're punishing as soon as any squishy member walks into line of sight, line of engage. And Cloud9 have now garnered this seven. So Baron's up in 45 seconds. And I don't, I don't know if Dick can do anything about it. Right? I think C9 just kind of boys him out. 6k uh, up. A little bit further behind than Dignitas would want to be because yes they have this really strong 5v5 team fighting team comp 
but if they can't push any side lanes and they need to walk blind into every situation, huh. it's bad. Oh, wait, Jojo! Oh, the Sarah Shield, but the Seismic Shove does find time. He's coming in over the wall from Blabber. Okay, wait, Will wait, they end up landing on... Jojo Pion tries to get over the wheel as well. Licorice got him! Okay. Volkis going in, but Volkis is dead. Volkis is dead. And Berserker's mid. Are you kidding me? Baron's up in eight seconds. Dick can make it right back into this game. Berserker is pushing mid at the moment. And they know where sure Berserker is, too. But so they're not even worried about him coming down to help. Jensen actually goes to defend. This is going to slingshot Dick right back. So I don't think the they're going to lose the in hit, but they're going to lose a turret. Yeah. But I think the price to pay now, Blabber could Barrett. go in here. Nope. Too bad. Okay, okay. That would have been exciting. That is crazy. There's an actually TP down there, too, just to speed it up. Will I be able to see this again? Okay, okay. So I didn't see how this started. Oh, what a beauty. Wow. Actually, I thought this was great by Blabber. I didn't think they were going to get it because it hit Vulcan. But beauty by uh, Licorice. Jensen almost got away, though. That was a great ult. And then Vulcan, I mean, Vulcan just wanted to help. Great. You know, that's the word. It feels really bad. That's not like that support feeling. Where in your mind, you're like, I need to save my mid laner. And you just get caught. You get caught with your mid laner. And then they're going to rotate down for drag, right? So you're going to get some pressure mid, rotate down, and try and for Dragon Soul? in the mid lane. Cloud9, trying to fight for posture. Soul Point is up again for Dignitas. This will be interesting because Cloud9 is still up quite a bit of gold here, and majority of it's on Berserker. I think they absolutely want to get into. So I think they, ha they ha their whole goal here is probably to get Berserker, right? So they see Berserker mid. Oh wait, they rush it. They just rush it, right? No, no, no. Great engage by Vulcan. Wait, and Berserker went in for the flash by. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so Berserker's so low, but Berserker's able to survive. Oh, Sven's dead. Wait, Sven's dead. Okay, so Vulcan ends up dying, but Thanatos goes in! Wait, so Liquish has to do so much work here. Because Speak is still alive, and then with uh, Liquish, are they going to be able to do enough, though? Oh, no, 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 they just get out. Berserker was so low on health, but they weren't quite able to get him. Yeah, huge fight. Wait, Speak is here! They weren't starting that from a winning position. Berserker You think Speaker's gonna try and steal it? Licorice couldn't make it in time. And now Speaker No, no, they're just gonna go grab play, just grab tier two mid, right? Yeah. C9 hold off. I need some chance going between both of the fans here. Alright, so let's see here. So Jojo did yeah. grab him, yeah, and then Vulcan goes in, then cleanses, and then flashes the ult from Vulcan. But Jojo up. jumps in. Then does dodge well at the start, but then okay, yeah, so Jojo just kills Sven uh, from there. Volga was a little deep, but it was worthwhile. Xanatos was able to jump in afterwards. Wow. And actually, the fact that Licorice survived here is really good. Flash ult, and then just gets out with the blast gun. But the overall fight is super in Cloud9. That was a hell of a fight. He's had great back-to-back -back games on Zerion. Six or six on Wow. Yeah, Berserker's looking so strong. Should have banned Kaisa, maybe. Can't ban Berserker. Actually, do this. I, I do agree with not banning uh, Kaisa. Last game didn't look that strong. Wait, double O. Okay, double O in. And now the rest oh, of and they're just gonna they're just gonna punish them for being so deep. Yeah, Sven's just dead. Oh, Isles is dead too. They're just too deep. I mean, it's been the Vulcan Berserker show here. He's just finding the brief moments. Great. I mean, Blabber ulted and then Jojo ulted behind him, so they couldn't get out. It was beautiful. Is just so fed in this game that he has enough damage to take them down. Sven, even if he had. Really great game one on Varus, good game two on Varus. Just wasn't able to help keep Berserker down here. Doesn't look like he can really uh -huh. cut through the Maokai Leona or even the Renekton right now. So it feels like Dig is blacking damage. Licorice isn't involved in these fights. Yeah. Sven is lethality. That, that is Jensen interesting. It doesn't feel like Sven has the damage they need. And Jensen's not going to be able to... Wait, wait, what a flash engage onto Jensen. Jensen. 
Wait, is Berserker gonna jump in and finish? Oh, Jesse just dead. Jesse just dies. Wait, that's game, right? They grab the in they're gonna grab the top turret. Oh, wait, Linkrish got caught too. What a beautiful play. Jojo, you insane monster. What a beauty. No, nope, they're, so they're gonna settle with just the two in the back. I, I still think that might have ended the game. So I, though, I think the game ended when they got Baron. Like, just being a little sloppy, getting a little too I don't know, far out, 12 minutes ago. On him right away. That's what allowed them to clean both inhibitors. In he really needs to just grab this soul. I don't think they're gonna be able to win otherwise. Negatron they don't have like a super scaling comp. Well, since I think like one shockwave is the fear of him actually dying. No one else is a big threat to him at the moment with the amount of life steal he has. Yeah, and even with the terminus as well, you stack up. Yeah, how do you kill Berserker here? You're like hoping for. Pretty darn durable for a marksman. I don't know, like a double ult by Spica and then Isles into yeah Jensen Shockwave. Maybe like a Licorice Flash E. Dignitas completely pushed back. W. Whatever. Cloud Nine bounced back extremely well after that really poor loss in Counter Strike. Whatever Jax's Counter Strike is. More so towards. Maokai Sejuani instead of Nidalee. No, Baron's up in 30 seconds. More aggressive tempo game. They made fast enough plays, and now Jojo. Oh, on the okay, licorice. licorice. It'll be a while before they kill him if they get him. This is a bit tricky to execute. There's no flash from. The licorice, licorice didn't know Jojo was there, right? Find the size we shove, which he does. Gets a decent sign nice. down, but Thanatos is not in range quite yeah, yet. Licorice, licorice kind of tanky. Finds the blast cone. Pops out to the left side. Love to TP. Wait, 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 wait. Rush the Baron. Yeah, do they just rush How Baron here? Can licorice buy? Baron's about to spawn in one second. Blabber's in the area. A lot, apparently. Yeah. Wait, he almost got turret. The thing is, there's a teleport on Thanatos to match, so I don't think they want to He's so tanky. Wait. Oh, okay. No, he doesn't grab Jojo. That looks a lot closer than it needed to be for the side of Yeah, no kidding. He, he could have grabbed that turret, Loki. Yeah, let's see what C9 does with this, though, because Jojo... I'm really surprised that Dick didn't try and posture more around the Baron, but maybe they could have done. Like, Berserker's just unbelievably huge. If Cloud Nine are not too careful about how they enter the jungle corridors, when yeah, you so are they definitely down get Baron 6, here. Gold, I think that is your last shot. It's a bit of a hail mary for Dig. They have been uh, outplayed yeah. these last two games. I don't know what Dig, Dig's gonna be able to do has here. Had more cohesive engages. Big shout out to Vulcan. Actually, I'm surprised that so many plays happen. Dig now isn't just trying to push bot. Oh wait, Jensen, wait, they caught Jensen. Still no flash this is dead. And able oh, to that's game. I don't think Berserker. they're gonna be able to kill Berserker. No. Oriana, no shockwave available anymore to stop these minion waves from crashing into the Nexus Towers. Wow. Another pick, definitely. Great job by Cloud9 C9 finishing the series out. Here. Buff. Can they end? I mean, Licorice is trying to look for the flank. Can he get there in time and threaten? Licorice is coming in. Waiting. Oh, they, but they ended they it on Vulcan. Vulcan. They go balls deep into Vulcan's Vulcan. so tanky, bro. Anything the shove, flips them all back. Cloud9, what an insane. Oh yeah, it's game right there. That's great. What? Well played by everyone. Oh. Great, great game. Hey, I know it's not technically a re reverse sweep, but C9 lost one and won the next two. Next one is 100 Thieves and NRG. Or maybe it's stronger than I, re I realized. But yeah, they choose to ban the... They chose not to ban the Rakan this time, this and Dig grabs it. Having to blind take it, and boom! Hey, I feel mm. smart. Okay. Oh. And a Poppy support, well, probably. Cool. It's Poppy or Camille support, because either one of those. Wow. Oh, what is Rakan, it's you, not you just that Kisante, much right? And when you have yeah. a play, you need a tank in the top lane. Yeah. So I think he kind of just has to pick. So C9 no probably knew what, that they were going to be grabbing Camille, and just didn't want to have to deal with the Jax. And there's Poppy support. Nice on the but, I mean, Poppy's really strong in Rakan. And Vi. But 